What is going on, my VV family? Hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. Uh, I'm kind of having a crazy day. As you see, my, my sign's all screwed up. I got mess everywhere. I've got so much stuff going on. It's crazy, guys. We got a lot of stuff going on uh, in the market. A lot of stuff flying around out there. We're still dealing with a bunch of FUD, guys. Um, I think I want to start off today just by talking about one thing that's kind of been on my mind, and that is, you know, why do we always... Why are we here? Why are, what, what is your purpose for being here? And I want to tell you guys my purpose for being here. My purpose for being here is um, to be super early in a project that I think is going to be huge. Okay, what happens when you're super early in something that's going to be huge? You have to go through all the growing pains. You have to go through all the crap nobody likes. You got to go through all the you know, not having the MTL license. You got to go through, you know, everybody complaining about the bots. You got to go through all the excuses and all the BS to make the big money, guys. That's what you get paid for. That's how you have high reward. You have to have high risk to have high reward. You're never going to find anything in life that is high or low risk, high reward. It's just not going to happen. Okay. So, um, you know, that's the whole point of being here. So when I hear people complaining all the time about all the stuff that's going on, I was like, everybody just wants this to go to the moon without having to have any of the risk or any of the responsibility. They just want to make a ton of money. And that's just not the way the world works, guys. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. It's just been on my mind a little bit because everybody's just constantly spreading FUD out there, man. It drives me nuts. And then, you know, if it's like I completely got out of all the Facebook groups because I got sick of hearing it, you know, and then people are like, well, it, you know, it shouldn't be considered FUD if we're just saying that they're not living up to their word, you know, talking about like MTL. Guys, MTL is a money transfer license in every country in the in the world, or basically, you know, almost every civilized country in the world. It um, it's to counter terrorism, it's to counter fraud, it's to counter money laundering. That's the point of it. That's why you have to get a money transfer license. It's not cash out; it's a license. And um, so you're at the mercy of you're at the mercy of governments. And anyone who's ever tried to do anything with a government, I mean, I've tried to pull licenses before. I have pulled licenses before, not money transfer licenses, stuff way smaller, but for construction or whatever, there's a process. It takes forever. Okay. It takes forever. And um, it's like people don't understand. People, they they don't want to have to deal with the growing pains, but they want all the profit. And it's just, um, it, it just aggravates me. You know, it's like, if, if you have, if you want to spread actual FUD of things that are actually bad, that's fine. I, I'm fine with criticism. I'm fine with, um, you know, people having their opinions. But guys, another thing that's going on right now, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, they don't like the fact that Dan and Dave aren't doing an AMA. They're just doing a um, conversation uh, next week where they're just going to be sitting down with Reese or whoever talking to them. I love it. I think that's great. Why? Because every AMA, we have the same question over and over again. What are you going to do about bots? When can we cash out? They hear that all day, every day. They hear it. They get emails. I bet they get 3,000 emails a day. The same thing. Your concerns are the same as everybody else's. I want the company I'm invested in, CEO and their head people, doing the research and doing the actual work that's going to make this company grow, not worrying about all the people's complaints. And so I don't blame them. I think they're doing an amazing job. I'm very happy with the dev team and the way they're working. Um, yeah, I have some minor, you know, minor issues, things I wish they would tweak. But it's a growing process, guys. It's it's a we're at the ground floor and this building is just starting to be built. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there. It's been on my mind a lot lately uh, just because I'm, I'm just so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. the bottom line is we still have Disney. Disney still believes in this company. That's all I need, guys. And that's what I'm going off of right now. All the other little stuff's going to work itself out, in my opinion. So anyway, I hate to start off on kind of a negative note, but it's just been it's been just aggravating me a little bit. So I just want to throw that out there and let you guys know where I stand with that. Um, the market is dipping, but it's not dipping as much as I thought it would. Um, you know, I did think we were going to have more of a dip than we're having right now. Let me, uh, let me pull up my screen. I was like running to get in here as usual, as you guys can see by the huge mess behind me. Sorry about that. Also, just had a slight heart attack. My accountant just called me and told me I owed a bunch of money. And I'm like, dude, that's not right. But fun, come to find out it was a, it was an error on my part. So I got to go fix all that. But man, he's telling me I like, owe 200 grand in taxes. I was like, uh-uh, there's no way. <laughs> so I almost had a mild heart attack a while ago. 
But anyway, guys, you can see here my account's at 174. Um, it last night, I think it was at 178, 179 before the announcement. So it hasn't really dipped that much. We have had a little bit of a dip in comics right here. If you can see this, this curve going down a little bit in comics. My comics are actually down five grand in the last 24 hours. Uh, collectibles are down 15,000 uh, in the last yeah, 24 hours. So it is down 20,000 since the announcement of this. So it's in the 190s. But before this got all the way down to 155, uh, it was the lowest it ever got on the entire collection, which was right here. So it's still about 20 grand above that. Um, I haven't added anything new to it yet. I do. I have made a couple of purchases though. I bought, um, I've been buying some comics on the dip. I bought two of the secret rares from today. Uh, just some four digit mints that hit the floor, like one at 190, one at like 170 something. So I do have two of the secret rares from today now. And then I bought, um, what else did I buy? I bought something else earlier. Another comic I had been wanting. Uh, they had one that was like 100 gems lower than, what was it though? I, I bought like four secret rare comics today on this dip. So that's kind of the way I've been kind of playing this a little bit. Um, after seeing the drop for tomorrow, I am not, if you guys haven't seen it, we'll go ahead and pull it up. I um, I don't think it's going to be, I, I don't know. I let's see what you guys think about this. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm sure everybody knows about it by now. But uh, we do have the duos and they're releasing five, I think. It's five different duos that are going to be coming through here. Um, Disney Golden Moments feature some of Walt Disney Animation Studios' most beloved characters and icons appearing in all gold. These Disney Duo Golden Moments statues are a very popular addition to any collector's showroom. Um, we got Timon and Pumbaa, which is okay. I think it's kind of cool. Um, Best friends Timon and Pumbaa brought their problem-free philosophy to fans around the world when they first appeared in Walt Disney Animation Studios' 1994 animated musical drama, The Lion King. This 3D Dig Disney Golden Moment collectible perfectly captures the friendship between the loquacious meerkat and the fiercely loyal warthog, who continue to delight audiences with their unique brand of humor, wisdom, and musicality. There's going to be 60 bucks a piece, as usual, 13,333. So the same number we had of Donald and Daisy. So keep that in mind. I want um as we go through these guys, um, right now Donald and Daisy is going for I want to say six. Six oh nine. So right at six hundred gems is what you can pick up a Donald and Daisy for right now. Okay, I want to know everyone's opinion as I go through these. Which one of these do you think should be worth more long-term than Donald and Daisy? If any, okay? If any, and I'll tell you guys my opinion later on. Uh, so our first one is Timon and Pumbaa. Second, Pooh and Piglet. The honey-loving Winnie the Pooh and timid yet brave Piglet began their on-screen friendship in 100 Acre Woods in Walt Disney Animation's 1966 short Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Since then, they have been always been and always will be friends. The stunning 3D Disney Golden Moment Collectible features Winnie and Piglet enduring friendship and could never be a bother to your collection. 13,333 of these as well. Once again, guys, I'm going to go back to, do you guys think this should be worth more than first appearance Donald and Daisy? Cogsworth and Lemire. As two of the most memorable characters from Walt Disney Animation Studios' beloved 1991 animated musical, Beauty and the Beast, Cogsworth and Lemire are a dynamic duo for all ages. This charming 3D Disney Golden Moments collectible showcases the strength of Cogsworth and Lemire's enchanting friendship. Invite them to be your guest in the newest addition to your collection. 10,333 editions of that one. Once again, better than Donald and Daisy? Your opinion. Okay, uh, Sebastian and Flounder. Uh, Flounder and Sebastian swim onto screens in the classic 1989 animated musical The Little Mermaid from Walt Disney Animation Studios. The two developed an unlikely friendship filled with adventure and steadfast loyalty as they stood by the determined mermaid Ariel. This delightful 3D Disney Golden Moment statue reminds collectors that friendship comes in all shapes and sizes. This one, we are going to have 8,333, okay? So we still have more than we had of Lady and the Tramp, okay? So let's keep that in mind, too. Last but not least, Chip and Dale. Probably my favorite one, just the way it looks. I just love Chip and Dale. Um, everyone favorite Chipmunks made their debut in the 1943 Walt Disney Animation Studio cartoon short, Private Pluto. Since then, the brothers have formed the strongest of friendships while enjoying countless adventures and mischievous antics. 
the 3D Disney Gold Mama statue showcases Chip and Dale's brotherly love to perfection and will be an excellent addition to your showroom. 6,333 of these. So we have about a thousand, about 1,400 less of these than we do Lady and the Tramp. Okay, so my question, guys, which of these do you think long term? Now, we got we to gotta remember what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get FOMO out of the picture. I'm trying to get it out. Okay, we know right now Donald and Daisy is selling for 600 gems. Which one of these should sell for more than 600 gems? Do any of you guys think any of these should sell for more than that? I don't think so. I personally do not think so. I think this has a chance of maybe being worth around the same just because it is two popular characters. Not near as popular as Donald and Daisy, but there are way less of these. So I do think this could sell for possibly around that 600 mark. And I think they should run about even, you know, on the way up with Donald and Daisy. And I also think Pooh, I don't think it should run as high as Donald and Daisy, but I think it should be right on its coattails as it rides up. So going by the price of Donald and Daisy, which I think is very comparable here, same amount of numbers and everything, I think Donald and Daisy should be worth more long term. So I'm very curious what your guys' thoughts are. And my point, my point of saying this is, you know, is it worth it to buy this in the aftermarket for seven or 800 gems? I personally don't think it is. I don't think so because I think it's going to go back down. I think it's going to be around the price of the, um, you know, Donald and Daisy, it's, you know, at some point. But what we're going to see, like we always see, is we're going to have the FOMO. We're going to have people come in, FOMO in, they're going to buy it up, the price is going to shoot up, and then I think it's just going to tank. And it's probably going to tank for a couple of weeks. So my plan I'm going to go for the drop, of course. Whatever I get, I'm selling instantly. I don't care what it is. I mean, unless it's like an amazing mint number or something like that. But um, other than that, I'm dropping it in the market as quick as I can. I'm going to take those profits as quick as I can, and I'm going to bring my money elsewhere. I'm going to come back and buy this set in a month whenever nobody's thinking about it. That's my game plan. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are on it. Um, and, um, you know, there are some some dates we need to keep in mind. Um what was it? 1924 was the first time Winnie the Pooh ever appeared in anything. 1928 was the first time he was ever in a book. 1966 or 64 was the first time he was ever on screen. So there's, um, you know, there's a lot of things we need to keep in mind as far as dates. So as usual, if you have any questions with, you know, a mint number you get or anything and you have questions about it, let me know. And uh, we'll go over together. Don't just floor a mint number. That's an amazing mint. Uh, you, you may regret that. So, um, yeah, let's open up the discussion, guys. Let's see who's here. Uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways here in a little bit. Uh, we are sitting at 32.63 as far as subs. If we get another 12 subs, we'll be doing a giveaway for this. Uh, we get over 100 people in here. So if you guys want to go share the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Over 100 people, I'll do a giveaway. And, um, of course, our membership giveaway. If you guys are want to join the membership, you're more than welcome. We'd love to have you. And you'll be eligible for every giveaway this month. All right, guys, who we got here? LaSpade says, not liking that we are having so many golden moments. Um, I'm kind of mixed about it. I, I was always expecting to have a bunch. So I guess, I guess, I don't know why. I just always thought we would. But um, I think it's good. I don't think it's going to affect the prices of the higher tier ones. But I do think it's going to give new people coming in the opportunity to try to get one. I would rather that be the way instead of everything golden moments being worth 20 grand where nobody's got to, ever got a chance to get it. I think it's way better for the business to do it this way. And um, so, yeah, I, I can see why people don't like it. You know, and I do think it's going to keep the market down temporarily. But as a long term investor and someone who really wants to see BB succeed, I think it's really good in the long run. <laughs> Send my golden moments my way, universe. I hear you, Dogo. I hope, good luck, man. I hope you get it. Funky Cole says, what's up? What's up, brother? How you doing? La Spades collecting. Musky Doge says, what's up, Rob? Last night was awesome. What an amazing pool. Yeah, I got them right here. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. That's the best. It's probably the best ETB I've ever opened. And I've opened a lot of ETBs. It's for sure the best uh, best celebrations ETB I've ever opened. Edson says, what's up, Rob? I rewatched last night's stream. Uh, you pulling that Charizard. That was a, an awesome pull. Yeah, I'm actually more impressed by the vapor. Um, yeah, the um, the Umbreon than the Charizard. I've pulled, I probably pulled 15 of these, but I've only pulled one of these before. So I was shocked to get that Umbreon, and they, I, I really went over them last night. I'm sending them in to get graded because they're both. The, the Umbreon's a little bit. Uh, the the mark the lines are a little off, but I think they're both. I think they both can get tens. 
Biskian says, hi, Rob. I also enjoyed seeing your poll last night. Congrats. I had some luck of my own today. Got my first drop ever. Awesome. And it was a secret rare. Awesome, brother. Congrats. Yeah, I tried for it on the drop this morning. Um, no luck, but I did I did pick up a couple of secret, a couple of four-digit secret rares uh, at the floor. Uh, actually, I'm still I'm gonna probably try to snipe a few more because I think this is gonna be a decent comic. And it's going pretty cheap. You've been seeing the uh, the cell walls coming up. Uh, yeah, because it it's it's backed up to almost two hundred right now. I, I think I bought one right at was it one ninety eight and one at one sixty eight or one seventy eight something like that. But uh, they were both four digits, so I might try to pick up a couple more. So I am kind of trying to snipe that market right now. Mommy, what's up, mommy? People just mad because they're losing money. People complain about having more gold. Money. Yeah, people are always going to have arguments and complain. I it just aggravates me because I always try to look at the bright side because I'm always you know. I, I just, nothing's changed about this company, guys. People just, they want an excuse. They've never been in a, in a bear market before. They don't know how to react. And they they don't understand that the reason you can have such big rewards is because there's major risk. There's, it's, it's just the way it is. If you want little risk, you're not going to have a big reward. That's the way life works, guys. Um, and it just seems like a lot of people don't understand that. David says, hey, Rob, I want to hear your thoughts on the mini gold moments coming out. I think it's good thing to get major characters of Disney and FA gold moments. Yeah, I don't I don't have a problem with it. I just I'm not going to FOMO into it. Like I said, I don't think any of them should be worth more than Donald and Daisy. I just don't think they should be. That's me says, hey, Rob, what are your thoughts about ApeCoin being listed on all the top exchanges? And it just came out yesterday, but Omi is still in the garbage exchanges. It's been out for so long. Um, and that's because of what it is. I mean, that's just, you know, it's got. It's got to do with um with Bored Apes, the most popular NFT on the planet. Uh, Gianna says, what's your favorite new gold moment? I want the Chippendale. The Chippendale is the one I actually like the most. Edson says, doing some reading this morning. Looks like Q system might be near and how it will work if you is if you are selected, you will get a promo code so you can get your collectible. Awesome, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sian says, I didn't expect any of these to pass Donald and Daisy and value full stop. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why, I mean, that's going to be like my buy point. I mean, really, I, I am not going to buy any of this stuff over 600 bucks. There's no way. I mean, if it's all going, you know, for 300, yeah, I'll, I'll get the set. But it's going to start out high like it always does. And it's just going to drop for a month. So I'm just going to wait a month and get it. Winnie the Pooh, way older character. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh's a way older character. Yeah, his first appearance, I think, was 1924-28. First time he was ever in print. David says, best thing would be to buy gold moments one week after drop, just like Donald and Daisy and Lady in the Tramp. Drop the prices a week later. Donald and Daisy is just the best for me, except for the Walt one, talking about Disney one. Yeah, I mean, or, yeah, but if you did buy a week later, you would still be down 50%. I mean, it's dropped. It's taken three weeks to, it's been out four weeks now. It's done nothing but go down. I mean, we look at the chart on Donald and Daisy. I'll pull it up real quick. I mean, it sounds good to say wait a week, but I think you might need to wait more than that. I mean, just going off of this, I mean, you know, that could be, it could be different this time too. And if everybody does it, that's another thing, guys, if everybody's thinking the same way, it's, you know, it's going to change what happens. But look at this. I mean, this is what it released, shot up, and it, this is a week out. A week out, you were still buying. Okay, it's, it released on the 14th, February, or Valentine's Day. The 21st, it was right here. So if you bought a week out, you were still buying it for 1000 So here we are another four weeks out, and it's uh, it's sitting at, at 610 So is buying a week out the best way to go? I, I personally don't think it is, but, I mean, I could be wrong, too. The spades says Pooh and Chippendale. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, Elsa's good, but Donald and Daisy um, more iconic. Chippendale, <laughs> Gianna's price predictions. Uh, hopefully below six hundred. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Uh, Winnie's first appearance on um, in in film on screen was nineteen sixty six. First appearance in print was nineteen twenty. Let me get the exact dates for you guys in case you happen to pull that one. Uh, let me get rid of get this up here soon. Uh, just kind of give you guys the dates you need to look out for.
All right, guys. Winnie the Pooh, also called Pooh Bear or Pooh, fictional character by Arthur blah, blah, blah. The first collection of stories about the character of Winnie the Pooh, 1926. So that's one we want to look out for. And this was followed by The House of on at Pooh Corner in 1928. So, um, and then there was also poems about him in Children's Verse in 1924 and many more in 1927. So if you're for the print versions, you're looking for, you know, any of these I would definitely hold on to. In 1961, Walt Disney licensed uh, certain films and other rights uh, of Winnie the Pooh from the state of A.L. Milne and the licensing agent and adopted Pooh stories using the unhyphen name Winnie the Pooh in the story. So 1961 is when it was acquired by Walt Disney. So basically anything in the 1900s, I would definitely check it out before I, um, before I sold it. That's for sure. Um, let's see. Okay. The first time Pooh and his friends appeared in color was in 1932. He was drawn by Schlesinger in the now a familiar red shirt and featured on the RCA Victor picture re record of uh, Parker Brothers and A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh game in 1933. So, yeah, pretty much anything 1930. And then Disney acquired it in 1966. So that's what everybody's talking about with 1966 is when Disney acquired him and put him in movies. So, um, so yeah, since 1966, he's been Disney. So, uh, yeah, I would um, I would definitely hold anything in the 1900s on any of these and, and make sure I'm, I know what I have before I sold it. Uh, Carl says, nope, none of them are well known as popular as Donald Daisy. I agree 100 percent. Maznick says, sorry, I mean, Winnie has better potential than other golden moments at drop time tomorrow. Yeah, at drop time tomorrow. I agree with you. I think he'll he'll shoot up. I think so. But uh, I think he'll come back down just as fast. Uh, Giannis says, I think Winnie is the best one. I prefer it from Donald. Okay, so you think it'll go for more than Donald is what you're saying long term? BB just announced an electric Electra figure, did it? And they're just not going to give us a break, are they? Electra's not going to be as big, I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, they did, too. Let's check this out, guys. Electra, once an assassin trained by an ancient uh, ninja cult known as the Hand, and now a hero who often fights alongside Daredevil, Electra Nachiosis, has a history of getting the job done. Sunday at 8 a.m., guys, we're going to be having the Electra in blind box format. So I'm guessing it's just going to be all iterations of her. Um, I'm sure they'll have all the way up to Secret Rare. Um, it'll be an FA. I, I, we don't know the details yet, but um, I know it's not that huge of a character. I mean, I know her like her action figures and stuff don't sell well, but I don't know if that means anything, but anyway, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. She looks kind of weird. <laughs> Another drop. Yep. They're going to keep them coming. This is a collector's app guys, not an investment app. David says FA tag is most important thing on the app. In two years, we could easily have 30 Donald and daisies and Winnie the Pooh and et cetera. Glad to give them all in GM for FA and it will hold us back a long term. All of them. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it does look bad. I agree that Electra looks really bad. <laughs> David said people want to make quick money on collecting app when people realize that app is made for collectors and stop selling and start collecting. That's when it will moon prices will go up for long term. That could very well be the case. Just announced Electra. Yeah. Best time to buy GM is when the new GM come out. Look at the pattern. Yep. Looks that way. Definitely looks that way. What's up, Brandon? How you doing? At least that's been the pattern. But if more people, if everybody recognizes the pattern, it's going to change. That's why we have to, you know, that's why there are no pros in this, guys. There's nobody who knows what's going to happen. Anybody who tells you they're an expert or knows what's going to happen, they're they're lying to you. Kobe says, hey, Rob, I love the electric. Really? I think it looks, what do you guys think about this? I think it looks, I don't know. It just doesn't look, the face looks weird to me. It doesn't look, I don't know. I bet I could see them doing some cool stuff with the size, you know, like on the secret rare and stuff. I bet it would look really cool, you know, kind of like if I think of that, but with like what they did with Black Panther secret, secret rare, I think that would look cool. But I don't know. Something about her just looks weird to me. It doesn't look like a lecture to me, but I don't know. Sue Storm part two. <laughs> yeah, but Sue Storm wasn't an F.A. Uh, Brandon says, you nailed the price predictions. Good job. The line with my thoughts and research. Kryptoni uh, <laughs> says, you do. You do what? What you do. 
Electra's an FA at least. I'd put her as a weaker option than Storm. Yeah, I think so too. And I mean, well, we I mean they may have something coming up with her, but I don't know. I just I know she doesn't sell very well like her action figures. I've never sold them really well anyway. Uh, Kobe says, I like the look in collectibles itself, not for stacking or anything, but it'd be nice 50 gem pick up the stash. Yeah, no, I'll go for the drop for sure. Bob says, hey, Rob, people are spending rumors that Disney is acquiring Viz, uh, VV. What do you think about this? I mean, it's all rumors, but I wish they would. We'd get rich if they did, I think. I think it would be um, it would be great. I, I think that'd be the best thing that could happen to us. Kryptoni says it will go under retail. Are you talking about uh, the Daredevil? The um the uh, Electra probably the commons probably commons and uncommons are probably going to retail right now in this market. I would think it's probably a good point. B scan says it may not mean anything, but it's interesting to me that 90% of drops seem to be Marvel or Disney sprinkling 007 independent artists here and there, but that's about it. Well, yeah, I mean, Disney guys, Disney can do whatever they want. I mean, they're, um, you know, if, if, if you're VV, okay, and you have DC wanting to do a drop, and you have 007 wanting to do a drop, and you have Ron English wanting to do a drop, and you have Disney wanting to do a drop, which one's going to get to do the drop? You own a business. Which one's you going to let do the drop? Disney. I promise Disney. They they And that's great. That's what we want, guys, as investors. That's why I'm so bullish on Disney. They It's going to get to the point, in my opinion, they're not even going to care about the other stuff. And they shouldn't because they have the best in the planet. I mean, guys, they still have, we've only got two Star Wars characters. You know, they're, they're dropping Marvel every day or every week. They're still dropping Disney. They, they got a ton of stuff. We still got Simpsons. If it was just Disney, I, it'd probably be better to be totally honest with you guys. I think it would be easier for Disney to acquire them if it was just Disney. But they're going to do whatever Disney says. I mean, just like you would if you own the business, because you know that's where your cash cow is going to be. And from a business standpoint, I just think that's super smart. Kobe Collect says, I dated a girl that looked like her. <laughs> I'm biased to the aesthetic. <laughs> okay. Jeff says, look like Jessica Jones, Netflix cosplaying a lecture. That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought when I saw it. It looks like uh, Kristen Ritter who played Jessica Jones. That's the exact same thought I had. I didn't say it because I didn't think anybody knew who I was talking about. Oh, Kryptonia. Okay, I didn't know you guys were talking to each other. Price predictions for the GM. Uh, I think they'll spike it first, just like they always do. People will FOMO in. They'll go, I think a few of them will go over a thousand. And then um, probably the Winnie the Pooh and probably the, um, well, I don't know if they'll go that high. But I think, you know, I think they probably in the week in the 600s, 500s, 400s, 300s. I think some of these will go in the 300s. I think, um, yeah, you're talking like 50,000 items, guys, in a bear market. And uh, we already have, like I said, I just think if, if if I had 600 gems and my options were any of these are Donald and Daisy, I would be buying Donald and Daisy. I mean, that's just me. And I think a lot of people agree with that. So why would you pay more when you could buy the Donald and Daisy for 600 gems? It just doesn't make sense to me. So um, I think it'll it'll shoot up because people will FOMO in like they always do, which is a really good time if you hit the drop, in my opinion, to sell what you what you hit. And then wait a couple of weeks till it falls down and then pick it up for your collection. That's what I plan on doing. But I think that's probably what a lot of people are planning on doing from everything I've heard. I was on Dino's stream when it broke or it broke. And then I went on his stream and um, everybody in there agreed, you know, just get, get the drop, sell it instantly. Let the foam mowers come in and then sell off. So that's going to be my game plan anyway. We'll see. And then after that, I'm either um, if I still have gems, which I've been sniping quite a bit today, but uh, if I still have gems, I'm, I'm either going to snipe good mint numbers or I'm going to um, just go to other stuff where nobody else is looking, which is probably what I'll do tomorrow is just go to other stuff that nobody else is looking at. Um, you know, probably uh, comics have been dipping and I've been looking for a dip in comics and uh, comics have dipped a little bit today. So I'm probably going to be um, throwing the remainder of my money in comics. Um also, guys, just a heads up, uh, me and Dino are doing a meetup tomorrow in Concord, California. If you guys want to come, it's at the veranda in Concord, California at noon. So I'll be doing the drop tomorrow. My live stream tomorrow will be tomorrow night late. I don't know what time I'm going to get back. 
Um, so I will not have a live stream at one tomorrow. Sorry about that. But I do want to go meet Dino and all those guys. There's a bunch of people that's supposed to show up. So I'm going to go do that. So I won't be here for one. I will probably live stream from the brand. I just, you know, talking to everybody or whatever. It won't be like market analysis or anything like that. Um, so yeah, going to be doing that tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. It'd be cool to go hang out with those guys. Me and Dino have become really good friends. It's going to be really nice to meet him in real life. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool what this community is doing, bringing people together. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, we'll be arranging more, more get togethers and stuff, maybe in different parts of the country or whatever. So we'll see. But uh, so yeah, that'll be tomorrow as well. Uh, Double Cool says Electra is something I'd only collect in context with other characters such as Matt Murdy, Murdoch uh, uh, already out. Yeah, I don't see her doing very well. I mean, we have um, right now Secret Rare um, Black Panther. Is going for 1380. And I think we can all agree that Black Panther is way more popular than Electra. Um, you know, of course, there was a lot of Black Panthers. And I don't know how many Electras are going to put out. But if that secret rare goes above a thousand and Black Panther's at 13, I mean, I just don't think long term that that's a, I don't know, I, I just don't see that doing very well. But we'll see. I mean, that's what we need right now. We don't need a banger drop every every day. I think I'm kind of glad that that's what it is, you know, to be totally honest. Kobe says top 10 grossing movies of all time, six are Marvel and Disney. Yep, that is 100% true. Brannick says now DC is available on another NFT platform. Yep, yeah, that's true. Kryptoni says I bought HRO because of Rob and Kobe. I know, I know, not financial advice, but yeah. Yeah, man, the more I look into them, the more I like them. Um, I just love the idea of being able to grade the card and have the digital, the the identical digital copy. I think that's going to be so cool. So it's going to probably end up costing me a lot more, especially if I get good cards. So I'll end up grading some of them. Edson says John Rogers gave some good info on his recent interview about the rumor about Disney buying VV. He doesn't see it. He sees them continuing to license until they get their own platform. Yeah, that's very possible too. I don't know who John Rogers is, but that's possible too. Um, yeah, but either way, I mean, I think it, if they do that, I think it'll be just like the, um, you know, just like with Netflix, you know, they had Netflix had all their shows on it. And then once they got Disney plus up and going, they moved it all Disney plus. And I have a feeling that's exactly what will happen to our, um, to our NFTs. And that's another reason I don't see them ever letting, you know, letting us put these things on a different, on open sea or anything, you know, cause they're going to want to control where it's all at. In my opinion, I mean, to me, that's just a smart way to go. Kobe, 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 Kobe says HRO looks so promising in my opinion. If you believe in Marvel Comics number one, how do we feel about Action Comics number one? One of the rarest, most expensive comics of all time coming to the blockchain through HRO. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be great. I wish we would get Action Comics one here, but I guess that's not, well, it may happen. I don't know. Who knows? What's up, Hugh? How you doing? Uh <laughs> Kobe says, no brainer, in my honest opinion, especially when you factor in common is a grail. First ever NFT trading card matching physicals. First DC comics on blockchain, not readable, but just so much upside. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Everything I've looked into it is um I've bought, I've bought quite a bit now. I'm I'm about two grand in on them. So that's about as much as I'm gonna go, as deep as I'm gonna go. But I'll be doing them on the channel. I'll be opening them on the channel and redeeming on the channel, all that stuff, so you guys can see what's going on. Kobe says, who would get the first ever PSA 10 Action Comics number one while also not flipping their matching NFT? There you go, buddy. That's the, me and you, we think too much alike, man. That's exactly where my head was at. Exactly what I was thinking. Sell them together so it can never be counterfeited. Yes, sir. Yep, exactly. My thought process, that's what sold me on it, was having the two together. Jeff said, what I've noticed is by between one hour to 1.5 hour, that's usually when the most people sell, then resell when it shoots up around two hours. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. See how that works out. Hab says, why do mint numbers matter? Because the community says they do. I mean, there's really no other reason. Um, people, you know, people make it up and, you know, people like always say the lowest is better and in anything collectible, they always say the lower numbers better. It's just, it's just 
personal preference that is caught on to the community, but it has no real, there's really no meaning. There's no difference other than a number. I mean, they're all, they're all identical and they're all perfect. So that's why so many people have problems with grading of NFTs. Uh, Clint says, good afternoon, Rob. Hope your day is well, man. My day is going great. Kobe says, $100, brother. This will be a fun, fun ride. Yep, I agree. It's going to be a blast. Bob says, it takes forever. New gold moments and NFTs to get listings below 200. Like season one, gold moments have plenty of time to buy these. Yeah, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of time to buy them. Um, and I think they're going to be way cheaper than they ever than they ever will be next week. I think there's going to be a point in time where they're way cheaper than that. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to hold off. And I'm going to be buying other things in the market. Kobe says, that's amazing, Rob. I could be completely wrong, but I think you'll sell an individual box for 2K in 2022. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I mean, I just, I like it a lot. It, it's really, I find it, it's really interesting. I really like it a lot. But, um, all right, guys, let's see if we have any more info. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. We'll throw them out there. I want to look at this one more time just to kind of wrap my head around it. Because these are the most uh, gold moments we've ever had in one drop. I do like Timon and Pumbaa. They're like, I, like as a duo, they're probably one of my favorite duos. I will say this. I'm glad they didn't drop Lilo and Stitch because it just seems like Lilo and Stitch always, at least nowadays, sells for more than a lot of these. Uh, that would probably be the one thing I would say may would go long-term over Donald and Daisy. Um, but it's, I mean, it's hard to tell because you're dealing with Donald and Daisy, you're dealing with like older collectors. But it seems like newer Disney collectors really love Lilo and Stitch. I can't keep Stitch stuff in stock. Um, but yeah, uh, Timon and Pumbaa. So that's, I like that one. Pooh and Piglet, just the standard, what you would expect. It's all happy and stuff. That's that's cool. I mean, I can see some people really liking that. What a lot of people don't realize is, you know, Winnie the Pooh is one of the biggest um, merchandise sellers on the planet. but probably 90% of that is baby stuff is, um, is, you know, strollers and blankets and, you know, just baby, baby stuff. It's, it's very baby oriented. And, um, we don't have a whole lot of baby collectors on the app. So, um, I, you know, I don't know that, but that is where a lot of that money comes from. But like, and they do have, like, they are older, so they do have some collectibles that have sold for a lot of money. They just, they just seem like they're not as, like right now, nowadays, like if you get a um, if you get a, a six hundred dollar Mickey toy or you get a six hundred dollar Winnie the Pooh toy, that Mickey toy is going to sell way faster, in my experience. Okay, and they do have some high value toys. There was a um, you know, there and there they have some high value artwork. I mean, they've been around for a hundred years, so they do have some some money that goes into it. But um, like I said, you have the same amount of these as you, Donald and Daisy. And just from everything I've seen as, you know, a collector and dealer over the years, I think Donald and Daisy's just the way better bet. And Donald and Daisy's going for 600 right now. So I just don't see how this should go for more than that. Just my personal thoughts. I think long term, it will have longevity. It's just going to take a long time to get 13,000 people out of it. This I could see being one of the, the least valuable ones of all of them. Um, Cogsworth and Lemire. I mean, I personally like the characters, but I just don't think they're they're just not near as popular of characters. Ten thousand of them too. There's a lot of them, even though it's the uncommon. There's still a lot of them. I think this will probably be the least popular in my personal opinion. Um, I just don't think it looks good. I just think it looks weird. It looks flat. It doesn't look like a golden moment should look. You know, it's like they tried to depict how they're small but i think it just made the whole thing look bad um i mean i like the characters i really love the movie but i just don't i don't know i don't see that doing that great to be honest i i really think this could possibly be one of our cheapest golden moments we have in my personal opinion but i could be wrong and then chip and dale i think this could be the um this could be the dark horse that nobody's really looking at because there's there's fewer of them there's only 6300 um which i think that's the number of what how many is, is it R2D2? We have 6,300. I can't remember. One of them we have around that number. And uh, I think a lot of people like Chippendale. Uh, Chippendale stuff does sell fairly well uh, in the real world. Um, so this could be the outlier. This is the only one I'm kind of like not 100% sure about. But uh, and it's, it's kind of the only one I really want to. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to fumble into any of it. So, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see if our collections change any. 
Uh, no, it's still sitting the same. Mark might not have updated yet. Also, guys, we're still 12 away from the giveaway. Uh, also going to be doing a members only giveaway here in just a little while. So if you want to join the memberships, $3.99 a month. And we get another 37 people in here, and we'll be doing a giveaway for that as well. All right, where was I at? Jay Maryberry says, Sub Rob, uh, you see the conversation on Twitter between BB Vault and Comics and Crypto. Comic Crypto said they just got into comics and have less than 50 in real life comics. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. But I mean, he also said, um, you know, you don't have to be a, you don't have to own a bunch of them to be, you know, well schooled in it. And I, I agree with that too. Um, yeah, I don't um I don't know. <laughs> All right. Gina says HRO not available in Canada. Sad. Oh, really? He can't get them in Canada. Kobe's getting them. Oh, he's getting he's getting them shipped to the U in the U.S. Smart, smart. The VB showroom says, "What's up, Rob? Stuff. How are you doing this fine Friday? What's your favorite gold moment out of these? Probably uh the Chippendale." Sorry, guys, I got, got a message that I got to answer. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I got a lot going on. I just I got tax issues right now that I'm dealing with. Park East Music says, hey, Rob, you excited for tomorrow's drop? Eh, I wouldn't say excited. I'm, I'm excited to see what the market does. Um, the market's going to be very interesting in my mind. Jeff said, I'm planning to just go for the drop, sell it, then buy Donald and Daisy or Secret Rare Comics. <laughs> exactly my game plan. Exactly my game plan. We're going to be competing, Jeff. <laughs> Christian says, what's up, y'all? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Genuine says, Kobe collects. I will find him. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, guys, go follow Kobe, though. Mr. Crip says, those will be 200 gems. No value at all for golden moments. Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Probably the flounder, and uh, I'm guessing. Jeff says, I'm watching from a phone, and the flounder GM looks like a fried egg <laughs> sausage. It kind of does. It kind of does. That's funny. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. Yeah, it looks, uh, I, I don't really get why they're releasing this like this. I think they could have done it way better, but what do I know? Like I said, I really like the characters. I just, I don't know, I think it looks looks really weird. Growler says, what's up, Rob? What did I miss? Are we rich or poor? I don't know, man. We're just floating along in a space on a big green and blue marble. Parky's Music says, I like Chip and Dale. I think they are one above. One of my favorite from this drop. Yeah, they're probably my favorite from the drop as well. 
Funky Cold says stacked 80 commons, 50 uncommons, a few rares and ultra rares, and two secret rares of today's comic. Holy cow. Man, you're loaded up. <laughs> yeah, I saw that common was going for like six bucks. I was like, that really kind of surprised me because I thought it was going to be, um, I thought it was going to be more than that. I mean, it's, a lot of people are saying it's a hold. Um, it's going for six ninety right now. I mean, the people who are selling it right now are just breaking. They're, they're not even breaking even off the six ninety nine price. The the um, ultra rares are. I'm sorry. The uncommon is going for seven thirty four. So they're not breaking even even either. The rare is going for seventeen fifty, guys. If you want to rack up or get some MCP points? There's you two points right there for seventeen dollars and fifty cents. It don't get much cheaper than that. The ultra rare is going for forty two, and the um, the secret rare is actually back up to two sixty five. It um, it looks like I got two pretty good buy in points. Yeah, I could actually flip and make money on mine right now. I got one at one ninety nine, and one at one eighty. So um. Yeah, I got some pretty good buying points. And I got uh, I got some decent mint numbers, too. I got, uh, well, one of them's good. I got number 2493, and the other one's 26098. But, um, yeah, it wasn't as good. Not Padino. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Funky Cole said I stacked 10. Yeah, I might go in and I might go in and buy some commons if they're that cheap. I mean, that's just I might get the uncommons. I mean, the uncommons are 745. I might do that. I might uh, I might wait for some decent men numbers to pop up and up. Oh, hold up, guys. I got somebody at the door. Right back. Sorry about that, guys. UPS guy. I'm waiting for stuff I got to sign for. Otherwise, I was just let him leave it. But it is what it is. Yeah, I might try to grab a couple of these um these uncommons at 754. I mean, if not, they're 759. Uh, earlier, I thought wasn't the uncommon earlier going for like 13 or something? What? I guess it just fell off. I know I should have grabbed more of those secret rares when I had the chance. Oh, well. Funky Cole says, hold, oh, but gold moments drop then. <clears throat> Growler said Discord, are we getting electro? Yeah, we are getting electro on Sunday. It's gonna be an 8 a.m. drop. It looks like it's gonna be uh it's a I think it's a blind box. I think it's gonna be like five of them, you know, common, uncommon, uh ultra rare, secret rare, rare, all that stuff. Funky Cole said I got my secret one at 198 and another at 205 easy flip. Yeah, I'm not looking to flip it. Um everybody I saw that knows stuff about comics said it was a hold. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it, but I do think I'm going to, you know, try to grab a couple decent mint numbers of the uncommon and hold on to those as well, since they're so cheap. Yeah. It reminds you of the grudge. It reminds me of the grudge too. It reminds me of that, uh, the grudge. And there was another movie I was thinking about that. It reminded me of too, with the 
spooky little girl. And guys, the common and the uncommon look almost identical. I mean, it's just like a little color variation is the only difference. It's just like the the bluish color looks, I mean, it's it's almost the exact same thing. It's so, it's just, you can barely even tell they're different. I mean, I guess you can a little bit, but not much. The VV showroom says I stack two, uh, don't sell for less than 50 gems. Which one did you stack, the uncommon or the common? Uh, I saw JPEGs. I need to start buying gems off app. Yeah, that's pretty much the only way to do it. Jeff says uh, Electra will be under retail. I agree. I think it will, especially the common, uncommon. Um, Kobe says, Rob, you're spot on with this comic. It's the only one I semi-stacked for a while. I did get a mini stack of bishops. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm probably going to grab a couple more. I mean, it's seven bucks. How do you go wrong? What's the common going for? The common's going to six eighty-five, and the uncommon's going for seven eighty-five. So it's a buck more to get the uncommon, and there's way less addition. Uh, just, number nineteen hundred just popped on the floor. I tried to grab it, and I missed it. Yeah, this will take up my whole whole stream if I sit here and just start scrolling. Hey Kobe, did you see what I pulled yesterday out of that uh, that that ETB? <laughs> that was crazy, man. Uh, uh, if you're still in here, where's the other? Okay, I opened up a Celebrations ETB just goofing off last night, uh, just with some people. I just turned on the stream because nobody was live. And um, first thing out of the Celebrations ETB, I pulled. A magic card, shiny magic card. Okay, and you know these aren't these aren't valuable, but they're not hard. To, they're not they're not easy to pull either, right? So I was like, heck yeah, I got a shiny magic card. I was all happy. Two packs later, boom, Umbreon. Only the second ever Umbreon I've pulled out of um, celebrations. I've pulled like 20, 15 Zards. This is only my second Umbreon ever. Two packs later, same same ETB. Two packs later. <laughs> so one ETB, the ETB that's been sitting right here since I started this stream two months ago had a, a Zard, an Umbreon, and a Magic Carp in it. <laughs> How insane is that? Go watch that video. I couldn't believe it. it's the best one I've ever had by far. And they're not only that. I've looked these over. These are perfect tens. There's no way these aren't tens. The Umbreon's a little off top to bottom, but I think it's within the parameters. But the Zard's almost perfect, so I know it's going to get a ten. Uh, so yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. Beast God says I had known that X23 from today's drop was a clone of Wolverine that he treated like a daughter, a Logan movie, but apparently it was recently revealed she is his biological daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. It's cool. It's good to know. I think the fact I think this thing could have some like cult following too, because it's the first uh, thing ever on here that says like mature audiences on it. And um, you know, so I think that could have some kind of, you know, thing to it as well. Um I'd kind of like to grab another secret rare. I just don't want to pay two fifty nine for it. I'm hoping maybe it'll dip back down. If I can get another one around two hundred, I would. I'd like to grab another one. Uh, Kobe says, but before that, it was just a list, the top eight lists, none of which were released in the last two months. But before that, it's just a list from the top. I don't know what you're talking about, Kobe. Sorry. I saw JPEG says, when I'm ready, I'm coming straight to you, Kobe. I know I can trust you. Yeah, you can definitely trust Kobe, guys. Genuine says buying gems on the app is killing me with our weak dollar. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's pretty bad right now. Kobe says if you're enjoying the stream, place the like button. Yeah, guys, if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> what is this black magic, Rob? Yeah, it's crazy, man. I, I couldn't believe it. it. I mean, I've probably opened, I've opened over 100 of those ETBs, probably more than that. I've never gotten anything close to that out of one ETB. I'm opening Celebrations too today because that, yeah, now I got the itch again, man. I hadn't opened cards in forever. Now it's like, I want to open cards. Uh, Kobe says, there's no way they aren't tens. Just as I say to myself, how could it get any better? Yeah. Um, like I said, the Zard I know is a 10. I've, I've done graded enough of these. I know what the tens look like. This is definitely a 10. Uh, the Umbreon, like I said, it's off a little bit top to bottom, but it's not, a, I think it's in the parameters. 
Should be. I don't know. That may get a nine, but I think he's got a really good shot. Uh, Spidey says, common ASM one going for under 100. Wow, that's crazy. Clint says, Rob, when are we doing another fun late night stream? Oh, man, I whenever I feel like popping on here. Uh, I just The only reason I did it last night is because nobody else was on. And then, um, yeah, it was fun, though. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'll probably do more if I'm just sitting here working. The problem is I got to work, and uh, I didn't get any work done like I was planning on doing last night. The goal was to just sit here and talk to you guys while I listed stuff on eBay. But then we ended up buying Batman cards, and then we ended up opening Pokemon cards, and then we ended up talking about BB, and then we ended up talking about playing poker, and then I didn't get any work done. <laughs> I have to limit my play time and my, uh, my work time, guys. Edson says, open another box. The chat brings good vibes and good luck. Should I? Should I open another Pokemon box, guys? What do you guys think about that? I have, um, let's see what I have here. I have Celebrations. I have Hidden Fates. I think I have Shining Fates. Um, what else do I have? I'm not opening my UPC. I have... I think that's what I got. I think I got Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, Celebrations. Oh, I have some um, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies. What should I open? You guys want to open cards? Let me know what I should open. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot, so don't worry, VV people. I'm not going to bore you with Pokemon cards. Uh, Clint says, by the way, in your opinion, what should I do with 300 gems? Something for long term with at least one piece to trade in the next few months. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, man. Um, I would definitely make sure I had gems for the drop tomorrow. That would be my first thing I would worry about. Uh, so I wouldn't spend 60 gems of it. And then um, after that, I mean, I don't, you know, the comic from today is looking real cheap. I think I would, you know, a lot of people seem to really like it, but it's just the market we're in, I think. I do think it's going to have potential in the long run. Um, so I might maybe look at maybe stacking some of those or, uh, you know, I really don't know how much lower the um, lenticular cards are going to go. Those things are, I mean, they're dirt cheap right now for what they are. So I might would go that route as well. Ooh, joyosi.com says, what's up, Rob Stuff? Kobe and the VV family, thank you for being here, my friend. Kryptoni says, if that ASM1 number one common goes to 75, I'll start tack stacking. There you go, man. Probably not a bad idea. Kryptoni says, with that 300, I would get Little Friend Silver and Journey into Mystery or stack ASM1 commons. Interesting. Junior Sambino says, what's going on, Rob? Oh, love and life, brother. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for those Amazon videos recently. Do you collect baseball, basketball cards? Um, I don't really collect them. I more open them, grade them, and flip them. Um, but yeah, I do I do have quite a few uh, basketball. Uh, I have basketball and I have some football. Not really baseball anymore. I'm just not a huge baseball fan. But uh, I do have quite a bit of basketball and football. The VV Showroom says, I'm a fan of today's comic, so I stack 25, 0, 4, 3, and 1. Gee whiz, that's awesome. Loading up. I'm going to try to hit some good mints on the Uncommon. That's going to be my goal now for the rest of the... Probably probably stack about 10 of them if I can grab some good mints. What is Little Friend Silver? Little Friend Silver is um this right here. Let me get it up and I'll bring it up on the screen. That is little friend Silver, the ape. He's way down. He says his all time low. He's never been this low before. That's crazy. Is that? Yeah. This is the gold. This thing had gotten up to what? Almost, what, eight grand? Yeah, it's at 33 now. You couldn't get one with 300 gems, though. Little friend Silver, he's going for 410 right now. You can get the black and white. If you want the black and white, he's going for 239. These don't have very big additions. There's not a whole lot of them. Yeah, Kryptoni said he meant the black and white. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of these. There's only 63 available uh, or for sale. There's only 1,388 available. 
sitting at all time lows as far as number or price and numbers for sale are both at all time lows, which is crazy. Um, I've been thinking about this though, guys, this all time low on sellers is a bit deceiving because we never had a, a 30 day drop off until this. That's the first time we've ever had the 30 day drop off. So, um, but yeah, it's giving us a more realistic view, but this is a little harder to look at <coughs> because things weren't dropping off before. Apparently I thought they were, but apparently they weren't. Sean says the little friends eight might be a solid buy. Actually, it grants you access to a special group. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. What's the group? Is it like just a Discord group or does it have any real world utility or what's the deal with that? Spidey Play says, What's your opinion on ASM 130? I don't know what to think about it, man. Um, I know it tanked, the price tanked yesterday after it got released. And it's just, it's just weird. I mean, everything about it's weird. First of all, you had to have like a redemption code to get it, I think. You got it at some sort. I, I don't even know if this is true. This is what I heard. I heard you got it at like some convention or something. And they have like 5,000 of them. But they don't even know how many people are going to redeem them. Um, but, or they might have had a time limit to redeem them or something. I, don't, I just don't know all the details about it. Uh, I do know it's the only thing in the app that doesn't have the actual picture. You know, look at that. That's all it is. It's just the like a, a no image available JPEG. Uh, it's sitting at 666 right now. I was on Dino's stream earlier and someone said they grabbed one for in the 300s. I never saw one go that cheap. If, it if I would have, I'd have bought it. But um, I don't know. The, the thing about it is there's 5,000 of them, but I don't know how many of them were redeemed. I don't, I mean, if it was a card, you know, that you had to actually put a number in the, you know, in the app to do it. There could be very few of these because, you know, people could have threw the card away or what. I don't know, you know, but that's the thing. We just don't know enough about it. I know it's not a very popular comic from what I've heard, but it may be a very scarce comic on the app. But it's just kind of nerve wracking. Like, I don't want to spend like that 666 right now. I wouldn't want to spend that and then find out there are 5000 of them and come to find out it's worth 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's risky. But it could pay off big if it ends up being, you know, super rare. Like there's just nobody redeemed them. But I don't know how they did it. Superstar money says superstar Rob 2D2. That is Joe. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> what is the biggest regret buy you ever had on BB? Biggest regret. Um biggest regret. Probably um uh invisible woman number 109 secret rare i got her for um 1800 whenever she right like the day she released and uh i thought i would i, it, I was kind of trying to flip her that was kind of the goal you know, being a low mint what i thought at the time was a low mint but then i realized since then that you got to have sub 100 to actually get anything for a low mint in my opinion uh at least from trying to sell in the market um so yeah that's probably my only regret but it's a uh, it's still there. I still have it, even though it's worth, what, five, six hundred bucks now. So, yeah, that's probably my, my worst buy so far. A lot of people would say buying the Walt at 47. But the thing is with the Walt, um, all the stuff I traded to get that Walt would have went down just as much as having that Walt. So I didn't really lose anything with it because if I had just stayed in what I had, it all went down anyway. So it's I would still be at the same amount of money. And I ended up with what I think is one of the best pieces on the app. So it wouldn't be the wall. It would probably be the um, the Invisible Woman. Sean says, yeah, I heard it's a Discord just like Bay Area Yacht Club has a Discord. Oh, awesome, man. Well, that's cool. Very social. Omicongs. Did not know that. Never heard of it. Superstar Money says, also, everyone check out Kobe Collect stream tonight and enter if you aren't for a great cause. Yeah, absolutely, guys. I don't even know what he's doing. But if it's Kobe, it's going to be good. So go check it out. Also, go follow Superstar Money. I got to put my banner up so you guys can see who to go follow. There you go. Go follow Superstar Money. I got to give them some free promotion since I, uh, I stole their Fastos wall. That was very unintentional, by the way. I didn't mean to steal it. It just kind of happened. Kryptoni says, ape no harm, ape. <laughs> Junior Savito says, what are you hoping to get on the drop tomorrow? I'd like to get Chippendale, but um, no matter, it doesn't matter what I get. I'm instantly flipping it. Knight Rider says, you think it's a good time to buy Woody now or could it go lower in the next week, in your opinion? What's Woody at? 
I think 200 is a good buy-in point for Woody. I, I really do. I mean, he could go lower, but he's at 189 right now. I think if you're willing to hold him long term, I think 180. I think he'll be worth more than 189 at some point. Could he go lower? He could, but um, it doesn't feel to me like the market is dropping as much as I thought it would after this announcement. Um, you know, we've only dropped another thousand dollars off of my account, or like 800 dollars off of my account since I started the stream. So in the last hour and, you know, with that big of an announcement, I, I don't know. I don't know how much slower he goes. I feel like he's about at his floor. I mean, it is first appearance of Woody. I mean, on the blockchain and it's going for 189. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, if you're willing to hold it long term, do I think it'll go lower? I think it might. But I think this is a really good entry point on it personally. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I've thought a lot of stuff was good entry points and I was wrong on a lot of stuff. Crent says, uh Clint says, buying the Donald and Daisy cash right after the drop is what I would say his biggest regret in VV hindsight 2020. Uh, not really. I, that's not my biggest regret. The reason um, I, I don't regret that is I think it will go back up. I don't think that um, I don't think the um, I don't think the invisible woman is going to go back up. So I, I don't I don't regret any of my Donald and Daisies. Um uh, and I didn't, what did I pay for that? It was only like, I think I paid what, 950 or something like that. I mean, so I'm only down 300 gems. So no, that's definitely not my biggest regret. But, um, and like I said, I don't mind having them. I was planning on stacking those anyway. JOC.com says that comic in real life, I think is around 200. So VV is pumping them up by digital rarity. Weird one. Um, the one today, uh, I saw that it was great. It went graded it was uh it was higher than that i thought um yeah because i watched a couple videos on it last night and it let's see if i can pull up some info i'm not saying you're wrong i just may i may be thinking of something else but i could have sworn somebody people were saying it was worth more Let's see, PDFT rankings. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing right now. Let's see where they put this. I might not even have it on here yet. We'll go see what Sleeping Comics says about this after. But this is, um, is it even, I don't even see it. NYX. I don't even see it on here. Let's see. Maybe it's usually they have it up the same day, but I mean these guys have been getting beat up from every angle, so they may not have may not have put it up yet. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's not even on here yet, I don't think. But uh, they did, Comics and Crypto did call this a hold. They, I know for sure they said it was a hold last night. Let's see what Sleeping Comics says about it. This is bbrank.com, which is sleeping comics. Oh, what am I doing? Why is this not coming up? There it is. Uh, next comic drop. Let's see if this is updated yet. No, all comics by tiers. Uh oh. This is not updated. Okay, well, maybe, maybe you're right. I don't know. It does look like fun, very much information, but from everything I saw yesterday about it, people liked it. And I really like the character too. And I think she's going to have a big a future in the MCU if they bring back that same little girl. Cause I think she was really good at what she did. Uh, the VV showroom says as a Spider-Man, don't do it. LOL, not financial advice as a Spider-Man. Not sure what you're talking about. Uh, Kryptoni says my biggest regret is buying Donald and Daisy at 1700 and Donald in particular for 11. Yeah. Yeah. I did those two. 
Clint says Rob Kobe is raising money for Nami if he hasn't changed it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Nami's really big in the po in the Pokemon community because um it's supported by uh, Leonhart and he, he gets like a lot of people in, po in the Pokemon community support it. So that's cool. Kryptoni with the super chat. Thank you, sir. Great chat, bro. Got the apes. <laughs> uh Josie's the one by promo code. Yeah, that's the Spider-Man 130. Kryptoni says, have you found out what is the best pull from the HRO box could be? No, I haven't. I haven't. I'm kind of just going to wait, look at it as a surprise later on. Knight Rider says, I think the Donald Daisy Gold moment is more valuable than any of tomorrow's dropping DM. Uh, GMs, maybe the Winnie the Pooh could be a good one, but I, the rest, I don't know. Yeah, and the, the problem with uh, with Winnie the Pooh is you got as many as you do Donald and Daisy. So it just basically boils down to which one do you think is worth more. And I just personally think, I think it's close. I do think it's close, you know, so for everybody gets on me for hating on Winnie the Pooh, that's not what I'm doing. Um, but I do think long-term, like, collectors, you get a big-time Disney collector in here, I think they will rather have, on average, Donald and Daisy more than Pooh and Piglet. I could be wrong, but um, that's why I don't see why any of these should sell for more than 600 bucks. The only one I think should maybe sell for more than 600 bucks is Chip and Dale, but it's just because it's the ultra rare and there's only 30 some hundred of them. Uh, so, you know, if it went like seven or eight, I'd be, I would see that as okay. But if we start out tomorrow at over a thousand on any of these, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way it's going to keep that price in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I would definitely be getting out of anything, anything I hit, I'm going to list instantly. I don't care what it is, unless it's like a, an awesome mint number or something, which I've never gotten before in my life. But if I were to get like a great mint number it might be different. But, um, and if you are unsure and you get like a 1900 something mint number, come here, go to some other channel, talk to some people. If you don't know the mint numbers, uh, Wikipedia, whatever you found and see if that mint number has anything to do with the, um, with the item. And, um, uh, and yeah, we'll, you know, just. Get some info before you just go floor anything is what I'm getting at. JSC says, HRO definitely looks amazing. Uh, special physical to digital is next level for sure. Yeah, I agree. And being able to grade that physical to me is huge. Huge. Oh, somebody just went and swept the uncommons on today's because it's at $8.99 now. Secret Rare is dropping back down a little bit. It's at $2.29. If it gets down around $200, i will probably pick up at least one more. Common's still at 650. Oh, they got some low mint numbers on the floor too. If I can grab one, I'm not going to get them. I wasn't quick enough, but they had a uh, number 6083 and number 58 uh, something. 6100 just hit the floor. 6150, it sold. I got some good mint numbers hitting the floor on this one. I say good mint numbers, low, you know, four, four digit mint numbers. Ooh, DSA says, I got mint 200 on ASM 130 for 1K, hoping it holds its value. Oh, man. Um, Yeah, that's the thing, man. It's a wild card. Nobody really knows. We don't we don't know any information about it. It's the problem. But you got mint number 200? That's cool. Um, I, I kind of want one, but it's like, I don't know. I kind of set my goal like at three to 400. If one falls in that price range, I'll probably grab it. If not, I'll just let it go. I just don't want to. I don't know. It just seems like a big risk to me. I mean, there are 5,000 of them, which is quite a few. Uh, 210 on the floor for the uh, the secret rare today. Goes back below 200. I'll probably grab a, one, maybe two of them. Now the 210 just got ate up. Sean says, hey, what's up, Rob? Which of the HRO packs looks the best to you, or have you ended up buying any packs at all? Yeah, I got um, I got some of each because I have no idea, and it seems like everybody I talk to has a different opinion of which one to get, so I just got some of each. Um, I think I ended up with four of the, the big packs um, and, like, 20 of each of the other types of packs. So I think... I should have a good assortment to open on the channel and show you guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm interested in it. I just, I don't know what to expect. That's the problem. I just don't have any idea what to expect. 
Dogo says, do you think there's any significance to have common Deadpool 1973? It is the birth year of the character. Man, it's, it's so hard to tell because, um, you know, it just depends on if, if you can find that person who thinks it's significant. To me, is it significant? No, I couldn't care less. But somebody out there may. And you just got to find that person. And that's why I hate mint numbers. I hate low mint numbers and I hate specific mint numbers because you got to you just limit your amount of people you can sell to so much. I just don't think it's worth it. I really don't. I mean, yeah, you might have somebody out there willing to give you double the floor, but it might take you a year to find them. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to just get that liquidity, I would just rather own the floor. Now, if you can buy that kind of stuff on the floor, then yeah, you're doing really well. But it's, I just don't see the point in paying a lot more for stuff like that because it's just going to be so hard to sell, man. But yeah, I mean, you find the right person. If I had something like that and I wanted to sell it, I would probably go into um, either Discords or Twitter and I would just announce that I have it and try to get in front of as many people as you can and see if maybe you can get somebody to make you an offer on it. What about Steamboat Willie 1925? I read an article that stated it was the first time Walt drew Mickey. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could, there's... You just got to find somebody willing to pay you for that. I mean, would do you really, would you go pay somebody extra for that? I wouldn't, you know, I personally wouldn't, I don't know anybody who would, is there somebody out there who might? Yeah, there, there may be, but I don't know who that person is. And, um, you know, I don't know how to find them. That's the issue. You know, you, everything is worth what somebody's willing to pay you for it. That's just the way life works, you know? And if you can't find that person who's willing to pay you that, then you're just going to be stuck with it. You know, saying, Oh, I got this piece and telling the story a whole bunch. And then eventually you're going to get sick of it and sell it for the floor. And then it wasn't worth it at all. But I could be wrong too. I mean, you could go in and you could find the right person. If you hold on to it for a long time, you know, you might get a bunch of Disney collectors in here and they might start fighting over it too. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, once again, I would just, I would either, you know, go into discord and talk about it, or I would go into um, Twitter and talk about it. But then you also have to realize, you know, what's your time worth? Are you going to go spend two weeks trying to find the right buyer for that or a month? to get an extra hundred bucks or 50 bucks is your, to me, I would just, you know, I'd put it a little above the floor if I wanted to sell it or I'd throw it on an auction, you know, and just, you know, that's how I personally would. So I just wouldn't want to deal with having to go through all the stuff it would take to find the person who'd want to buy it. Habit Bond says just night Batman at 5,100 and have 4,250 left hold or buy R2. Oh man. I think R2 is, R2's been holding his own lately. Oh, just missed it. They had a four digit just hit the floor on the secret air for 200. I tried to grab it, but I was too late. I, 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 I swiped my phone one extra time. But anyway, um, yeah, what's R2 going for? R2's been, it's, it's been holding its own pretty good. Let's see. It's at 4K right now. It's dipped a little bit since the last time I've seen it, but it's almost up to 5K on the first page. So that's that's good, I think. Um, let's see what its chart looks like. You got a Todd for 51? That's cheap. Yeah, see, he's... um. Headed down like everything else. Will he get down to this 37 mark again? He may. He may get down there in the next couple, you know, in the next before the drop tomorrow. Um, and then he usually right after the drop, he usually shoots back up. That's just what we've seen. I mean, that's what all these are. OK, every time you see this right here, see how it goes down and then it just shoots back up. That's after the drop. He goes down. He shoots back up after the drop. That's how R2 works. So if you catch him tomorrow morning, you'll probably get about the lowest price you're going to get in the morning. Um, but I, I do think four grand is super cheap if you want to just grab one. In my personal opinion, I think that's super, super cheap. Uh, I do think he's got huge potential. <coughs> but um, but yeah, he's at a, he's at a very uh, a very good price right now, I think. And he's got super thin floors. So you got three of them listed at the 4K mark right now. Let's see. Yeah, one, two, three. I mean, you may be able to, if you watch him real close, you know, somebody might floor one for 38, something like that. You might be able to snag it for that, which would be cool. That'd be a really good price entry point, in my opinion. Let's 
snipe for ASM 132 was an auction. ASM 130. You mean ASM 130? Or is, is it 130 or 132? Oh, it was an. You're talking about the one that um the one that went for three something. That's, I think that's probably a good price, but I don't know. It's going to take a little while to see what that thing actually does. I'm just curious what the actual supply is and how they did it. Because I don't know. I have no idea. They're 63 for sale. The floor's at 666. It's one spider. That's Spider-Man 130. Yeah, you can still get the common of today's comic for under retail. Sean says price predictions on tomorrow's job. Uh, it's going to shoot up and then shoot right back down, in my opinion. I think it's going to. Um, I think the. I think if any of them go over six or seven hundred gems, they're too high. You know, just comparing them to what we already have on the app and what they're going for, I think they'll. Uh, you're going to have way better prices to buy at in a couple of weeks, in my opinion. Book says just bought one as you are Aston Martin mint number 171 for 450 and two mini cars for 170 each. These prices are ridiculous. That is, I agree. JC says you killed it. I agree. I agree. Kryptonian says I agree. I think this is one of the best buys on the app right now. R2. Yeah, and R2's holding he's, he's holding up a lot better than a lot of other stuff in this gym squeeze. It's like people just aren't wanting to lose him. I don't I don't think he's gonna be this cheap for long, guys. I think R2's eventually gonna. I don't know. I just, I have, he's one of the things I'm most confident on. He's, he's not on the list of things I'm going to ever sell for sure. Diamond says, what are we sniping? I, I'm just, um, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place. Uh, looking at comics, just kind of watching the comic from today. Uh, Oh, number 3,800 just hit the floor on the common. I missed it. 3,600, 3,900 just hit the floor on the common, and I missed it. The common's at six bucks right now, guys. There's a on one on the floor for six dollars. That's nuts. Of course, I missed it too. I'm a very slow sniper, I'm not very good at it, especially like drop day. Happy Bonds says, love your show. Thank you so much, man. If you guys don't mind, drop that like in the sub. I would really appreciate it. Let's see here. Still need 12 more subs for the giveaway. Going to be doing a members-only giveaway here in a little bit. So if you guys want to join the membership, please do. It's $3.99 a month. Uh, Kyle says, anyone got advice on getting HRO cards in Canada? Uh, I would talk to Kobe. Kobe's in Canada, and Kobe's buying a lot of them. Hey, Vaughn says Superman is getting zero love. What's Superman doing? He's still getting his butt kicked. I want to grab a Superman before they go back up because we might not ever see him these, this cheap again. Two point three. Wow, that is cheap, 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 cheap. Ah, uh, two point four actually. Is it two twenty three ninety nine? Jay Mayberry says, yeah, my bad, 130. There's a ton of auctions for it. Is there? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't realize there was auctions for it. People were just trying to get rid of it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's going to happen with that thing. It's so it's such a weird situation. You know, it's not like it dropped on the app, you know, and that's what I find just really it's just it's just strange. People still dropping these things on the floor at six bucks. I don't know. I don't understand why people do that. There's one for five thirty. I missed that one. Somebody dropped the floor to five dollars and thirty five point three gems for the common for today. That's insane. Oh, somebody just put number six forty seven on the floor for six. Oh man, look at that, guys. Somebody put number 647 of today's comic on the floor for six bucks. That is nuts. Anyway, now I'm all fuzzy.
Uh, just picked up NYX SR for two twenty. Yeah, I, I picked up a couple earlier. I'm um, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of these. I think this will. Oh, it's back up to two fifty six. Oh man, good snipes. Cool. I'm happy with those moves so far. I'd like to grab another one if it goes back down to around two hundred. Yeah, these four digits hitting at four bucks. They're they're getting swiped up. They're getting swiped up quick. Junior Sambino says, "Any update tips for landing the drop? Uh, lucky socks, rain dance, sacrifice something." <laughs> Man, I just um, I do clean my uh, my phone out really well you know i make sure everything's completely cleaned off of it i restart my phone and um i, I that's that's just what i do anyway I just invited Kyle Wilson on the channel. We've been kind of having a little debate about uh, taking things off app. So I just invited him on the channel if he ever wants to come on. Uh, but yeah, Junior Sambino, that's all I do, man. I just clean everything out and then um, I just I just spam. That's all I do for drops. It, it works really well for me. It, I do I do really well. I win my fair share for sure. Um you know, and we do, everybody's going to have a really good chance tomorrow. So, uh, I mean, there's like 50,000 of these because there's so many of them. So you're going to have a really good chance tomorrow. So make sure you have those 60 gems. Um, if you have multiple accounts in your house, use them. They said there's nothing wrong with that. They, they make the rules. So use them, try to get them. And in my opinion, flip them as quick as you get them because I think the price is going to shoot up. Then I think it's going to shoot down. Jay-Z says, Dominique, okay, was wondering, same, uh, you're in BC. Okay. Yeah, Co I, I would go to Kobe's channel and ask Kobe. He knows a ton about it. He's, he's who got me into it. He's in Canada. so. Uh, and actually, I think Kobe has – Um, I think his girlfriend I know lives in um, Pennsylvania. So I think he just has it all shipped to her, and then she ships it to him. But I don't know if they – they might do it for you if you if you pay him or something. I don't know. But I think that would be the best person to ask. Kryptoni says get with Kobe Collects. He just bought a boatload of boxes. He'll supply you. Yeah, yeah, I think that's another thing he's looking to do too. Uh, SR comic back to 258. Yeah, I know, man. It shot up quick, 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 quick. I think a lot of people want to hold it, which is good. I'm glad I got my position where I did. Like I said, I'd like to get one more, but I don't know if it'll happen. I'm not going to pay more than 200 for it. See, Rio says, what do you think about the comic drop today? Oh, and the drop on Sunday looks horrible. <laughs> I agree. The drop on Sunday does look horrible. Um, the, the drop today, I liked it. I went for it. I hardly ever go for comic drops. I went for it. Of course, I didn't get it. Um, but I have picked up, um, Two secret rares in the one in the one what one sixties and one in the one nineties. Uh, one of them's a four digit, which I'm a low four digit, like twenty something hundred. And then I um I am spamming right now. You see me spamming. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to pick off some low mint numbers on the um I'm on the common right now. I've been just going between the um, common, uncommon, and the secret rare because I would like to grab another secret rare at that um. There's a four digit uncommon just sold for six dollars or eight dollars, eight ninety nine. There's another one. Come on. Nope, missed it. The uncommon 4253 just hit the floor. And I missed it. Uh, Kryptoni says I sit next to my router and I get at least two every job. Yeah, I sit right next to my router. That's another thing too, guys. Get as close to your router as you can and just make sure your everything's cleaned out. Edson said I just sniped a couple commons for four bucks. Yeah, I was trying to get them. I was trying to get them at the same time. You beat me to them, Edson. <laughs> Joe M says, are people crazy selling NYX common under drop price? I'm stacking about 20 for average price, 625 gems, all four digits. Awesome, my brother. Congrats, congrats. 
Yeah, I think this is, uh, I think people are sleeping on it, but it's the market we're in too, guys. People are just trying to get out as quick as they can. Um, you know, people are just scared to death of this market. They don't want to be holding anything because all they ever see it do is drop, which, I mean, I don't really blame them, to be honest. If you, you know, if you're in this for short term, that's what you got to do. Sean says, any more FBA videos in the future? Yeah, I'll be doing more FBA. Um, I don't, I'm not sure when. I got a pretty busy schedule. I got, um, first of all, I got, I just got some major tax news that's going to cost me a lot of work. I'm going to have to go in and fix some tax stuff that got screwed up on my end. Um, so that'll be this weekend. And then tomorrow I'm going to meet with Dino and some other people that we're going to be doing a hangout tomorrow. Uh, that's about an hour and a half drive from where I live. So it's, um, it's a ways from here. So, you know, that's going to take up the vast part of my day. Uh, so I won't be live tomorrow at one guys. I, I probably will, but it'll be like from my phone, just hanging out with Dino or whoever's there. So don't expect any market analysis or anything tomorrow after the drop. Sorry about that. I probably will do a live tomorrow night. It'll probably be more of a, like just a, you know, a talk about anything live like we did last night where we just came in and talked about, you know, FBA and Pokemon and BB and everything. So I'll probably do that. It won't be as formal, kind of like last night, but that's probably what I'll do tomorrow night. Um, I may keep, I may keep doing that. It's fun. I like talking about that other stuff. Like I said, my channel was originally designed to be an FBA channel. It kind of moved into a, um, into a Pokemon channel for a while. And then I got in VV and it, that's when it kind of exploded, you know? So I don't want to, I hate to mix it all up because it screws up the YouTube algorithm, but I do still like doing that. And that's why I don't have like the name, the word VV in my name. You know, it's just Rob stuff because it's stuff I like. That's the point of the channel. Lady in the Tramps at 380. Holy cow. That is ridiculous. That's another one, guys. I, you know, I personally, let's see, where would I put Lady in the Tramp in this? Winnie the Pooh, of course, is better than Lady in the Tramp. Um, but there's twice as many. Um, I would personally put the Flounder and Sebastian. I like the characters, but the way the NFT looks, I think puts it below Lady in the Tramp. Um, Chippendale is, in my opinion, quite a bit above Lady in the Tramp. The clock, uh, clock probably about even with Lady and the Tramp. So my point is, you know, should any of these really be worth more than what Lady and the Tramp's going for right now? You know, I, I don't really know. <laughs> Dino wants to pop in. We'll go grab Dino real quick. I'm coming, Dino. All right, that is sent. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick before he gets here. I'll be right back. Oh, he's already here. What's up? Bro. Uh-oh, can't hear you. Did you hear me? Can you hear me? Come back in. Okay. What's up, my brother? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you, buddy. How you doing? Bro. Did you see that drop? The Electra? That's the ugliest piece of shit I've ever <laughs> It looks horrible. Dude, she's dead. She's yeah. not even alive. It looks horrible. It looks it looks bad. Yeah. It somebody said it though. They said it looks like Jessica Jones. And it does. It looks like Jessica Jones. The the the, the girl who plays Jessica Jones. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's yeah, it's bad. Look at the skin tone difference. It's Look bad. At the, yeah, Look at the neck broke. Like it, the it, neck it, is broke. It should it should be zombie Electra. <laughs> Bro, okay, I would buy that if it was zombie Electra. <laughs> I will say this though, I think I think the common and uncommon go under retail. I, I don't think oh. there's any way they don't. <laughs> but Guaranteed. I'll bet you. I'll bet you a hundred dollar NFT. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. There's no sell in this market. But I will say this, though. The size, like, I wish that, I wish we had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I would love to see Raphael with the size, like, in a secret yeah. rare. That would be awesome. But, uh, it, but, yeah, it's the face is just, it doesn't even look I like just, her. I just made a reaction video because I'm like, you guys, they keep doing it to me. They just keep handing me my content on a silver platter. <laughs> They're like, here, Dino, tell us how you feel about this. Here's a literal trash can that we're going to sell you for $60. <laughs> what do you think? And I'm like, um, yeah, I mean, um, her neck's broken. <laughs> yeah. And look, I, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't understand the thinking. What's, what's oh. going on, man? What's happening in this market, bro? I mean, what's going to happen tomorrow? What, what are your thoughts? Since we talked earlier, I know you've thought about it. What's going to happen? Cause we both got the reaction, our reaction together when it first came out on your channel. What's going to I mean, happen? if it's three, if it's 300 bucks, I'll buy them all. You know, sure. Well, Lady in the Tramp, Lady in the Tramps, right now is at three eighty. <laughs> so if, if, if they're well, I don't know. Maybe I won't buy them at three hundred. I think if they're three hundred bucks, maybe I'll snag them. Um, I, I'm not really interested at all. I'm not either. Um, yeah, but I wonder. I, mean, I wonder how many people are going to have that attitude. That's what I'm wondering. wondering how the market's going to react to this. Where would you? Not where that would, many. I mean, where would you? Where would you put in, in the the five we're getting? Where would you put Lady and the Tramp in there? We we did we said earlier where we'd put Donald and Daisy. Where would you put Lady and Tramp in the five? I mean, I think yeah, we would both. She's the, worse than Timon and Pumbaa. She's worse than um, Chippendale. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what are the other Probably ones? Probably worse than Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah, but um, but I mean, like Sebastian, and I think we both agree that one looks horrible. She's Sebastian. worse than she's worse than Cogsworth and Lumiere. They're worth in them. Um, maybe she beats. I. Uh, I mean, may, no. I think she's below all of them. She's below all of them. Okay, so you think the price should be somewhere between where uh, Donald and Daisy and where Lady and the Tramp should be on all four of them. I don't all, understand all Donald and Daisy's price, anyways. It's just this market, yeah, you know. I, I don't either. I'm sad that I'm bag holding three of them, but I love the pieces, so I'm not. Too I'm, bag hold, I'm bag holding six of them, so <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Donald and Daisy are great pieces, and I think you know, if VB doesn't, you know, keep dropping Electras on us, we'll be fine. But if yeah. you know, this is the worst drop I've ever seen. Yeah, it's horrible. It's, In my it's, opinion, it's the worst one I have ever seen ever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, don't I know would what rather have thinking. stacked Invisible Woman's than Electra's. Yeah, now yeah, Somebody asked earlier what was my worst ever. You know what I think my worst ever investment was on the app, and it was I said Invisible Woman Secret Rare. But uh, yeah, this would probably take the cake if I bought this with. <laughs> this is, if I bought this for over a grand. Oh God! I mean, I'm I don't timer. I'm letting the timer hit zero. Yeah, I. I don't know, man. I don't know. You, I mean, I guess even... if there's a secret rare, if there's a secret rare and the mint retail price is low enough, I might still mint. And then I'll just, I'll have to just take the L if I don't get the secret rare. Cause everything is going to go below retail, yeah. except for maybe the secret rare. If it's just an ultra rare, then I probably won't even mint. Well, I mean, every other, every other single Marvel character has always been 50 or 60 gems. Right. And it's always had a secret rare. All of them I can think of. Is there any that haven't? Well, I guess the like the but they said there's only four. They said there's only four NFTs dropping. Oh, there's only four dropping. Oh, it okay. says it on the Twitter post. I think confirm me. Definitely confirm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Four. I didn't even see that. Good point. Yeah, it says right so, here. Four four Electra premium digital statues drop Sunday yeah. the twentieth March at eight a.m. And typically, I feel like when they do four, they're not going to drop a secret. I don't know. Tell me if well, I'm wrong. I feel like that sounds like no, an ultra right. drop to me. You're right. That would make sense. So that makes me even wonder if even the ultra rare will be uh animated yeah I'm, I'm not bullish on it at all if it's just an ultra rare i might not my gut says don't mint i'll think about it a little bit more obviously when the medium comes out but my gut says don't mint if there's a secret rare i might yeah i um yeah i don't know if i go for this or not either especially with the deals going on in the market right now i think i'd rather put my gems in other places so i don't i don't know if i'd even go for it to be honest i don't i don't know man it's so bad <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, everything's just getting so it's just getting beat to death, dude. But, it's bad. Yeah. Yep. Still going down, but it is what it is. I've been sniping some comics. That's about all you can do right now. I think I <laughs> so, picked up today's comic. Today's comic is fire. It's gonna be probably. It might be a valuable one. I've heard. Yeah, I got two of the secret rares already. I got one in the one seventies. I think a one of one ninety something, and it's at two forty five right now. If it goes back down to 200, I'll probably snag another one just to have it. But uh, 
a lot of people have been dropping. I mean, like the comment all day long has been below. You know, I know they're not making they're not making any money on it after they sell it. You know, after the seller fee, it's like oh everybody's no, no, just no. dropping it, just dropping it for free basically, or losing money on it. And I I don't understand that. I mean, if I if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna hold on to it till it's. I don't know. I'm not going to sell instantly for a loss. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it is what it is. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I get the only reason people do that though, I guess is because um, they're just taking, it's like what I said with the Electra, right? Yeah. They're they were like, hoping if, to get a secret rare. Yeah. If they, they get the good rare yeah. or good, but they don't, they just dump it. Right. They just re- willing to take the chance. Yeah. So that's what you would do. You know, if that's what you're viewing this as, but this comic has some real life value actually. Yeah. Oh, does it? Because somebody in my chat said it didn't, and I didn't know. No. I, I thought I, I saw a video saying it did, it's but I didn't speculative. It. It's very speculative because it's new, but yeah. um, the 9.8s have sold. So basically, I had the same thought. I was like, oh, it's not worthwhile, and I just wanted to see what you thought about Electra. I'll, I'll jump off after this, but um, no, so good. I looked it up. Um, yeah, I looked it up. So a 9.8 sold for 2K. Um, another one sold. Uh, a 9.8 sold for 1,400. A 9.8. So these are on eBay confirmed sales. Um, Okay. So for a new comic, that's pretty decent, you know, to actually have sales in that price range. Yeah. I guess so. That I'm not a comic guy at all, and so, um, you know, she could have a future as Wolverine's daughter. A new comic. uh, The artwork is sick. Um, It's the first thing. It's the first thing on the app that's ever had mature content written on it. And uh, yeah, there's a, I know like there's a lot of collectible stuff like from the 80s and 90s that like when they first put parental guidance on stuff and stuff like that, that that has some value to it because of that. So that's another little thing it's got that, you know, maybe something in the future. I don't know. And here's and here's the other thing to consider. Right. What's a comic that we all know? Ultimate Fallout 4. Right. And you're like, oh, that's a new content. That's a that's a good one. Right. Okay. well, let me tell you this. When I basically why I became bullish on this Ultimate Fallout 4 has confirmed sales on eBay for $1,000, $700, $70. What is that? I mean, let me find a 9.8. Um, someone said this one sold. For, that's the wrong one. I'm trying to find a 9.8 sale. I have a 9.8 sale for $600 on a Fallout 4. Really? So, yeah, so tell me So tell me why Why is a Fallout 4, and we're bullish on a, a 9.8 Fallout 4, you know, and this one actually has ones that sold for more. So hmm. it could have some future value in it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I um, and I, I really like the character too. I think if you know, I think she's gonna be the next you know Wolverine. So we all know how big Wolverine was, and if they have the same actress, you know, she was really, she was a good actress. So I don't know. So look, yeah, we have a Miles Morales signed by Brian something sold for a thousand. Probably the writer. Yeah, Brian M. Mendez. The highest sale I'm seeing is 1100 And so we have confirmed sales of this comic for more than Ultimate Fallout. Wow, that's crazy. So that anyways, it's just my – it's a guess. I bought 20 today. Common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare. I didn't buy any secret rare. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I snagged Not... quite a few. They're good MCP points. Um, yeah, good speculation go. comic. The market's in the dump. It cost me like 350 gems, 400 gems. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. I got my secret rares. I'll grab another secret rare if it drops below 200, but otherwise I'm just going to snipe for some low mints. That's all Dude, I'm going to do. Was, just mainly because like, it's fun man. to do. <laughs> that Electra, <laughs> Electra's destroying me, man. It makes me like concerned about what's going on over there. Well, I, I hear you. I mean, that's I agree, some, the worst would, rendering I've ever seen. Yeah, but I, I'm glad they're not dropping something huge. I think the it oh, might yeah. give the market a chance to recover a little bit, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I don't think people are going to be FOMOing into it as bad as they're going to be FOMOing into something oh. else, you know? Dude, I got a part of a rug pool on OpenSea, and that's what the 3D rendering looked like. It looked like really? that. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad, so. <laughs> we shall see, my brother. <laughs> Does Electra sell for a lot in person? Like Electra NFTs? No. no. No, no, Electra does not sell for a lot. Uh, like the collectibles, I know uh, her Funko Pop, like the one they released one last year that, uh, or a couple of years ago, it was an Fye exclusive, and it was selling for like I think Fye had to mark them down to like two ninety nine to get rid of them. So they don't, you know, they don't sell very well that I know of. Um, oh man, dude, so. we'll have fun. I'm gonna jump off. I just wanted to see what you thought. I love to hear what your reactions are because God, <laughs> that piece was. <laughs> It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I did a reaction right, video. If you guys want to laugh after Rob's stream, go to my channel and watch my reaction video. Heck yeah. Well, I'll send everybody over that way, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, don't worry brother. about it. Don't worry. Don't send one anywhere. It's just, you know, if you want a good laugh, 
you know, just go there and watch my my facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. We're gonna party. Hey, yeah, brother. See you then. Thanks for stopping by. Later. Later. All right, guys. That's Dino. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, go check out Dino's channel. And once again, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be getting together tomorrow in Concord, California, for the first time. You guys, if you're in the area, please stop by. It'd be great. I'll buy you a drink, buy you some food, check out some NFTs, play with stuff. You know, we'll we'll, we'll hang out, have a good time. <laughs> DRM says this Martini 0512 guy is continually listing commons at six gems regardless of the edition number. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. But hey, I mean, it's, you know, it's like everybody hates bots, but we wouldn't be getting these deals if it weren't for the bots. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm torn on it. Not that I'm a fan of bots, but I'm just saying it's like, yeah, everybody likes getting the snipe deals, though, and that's who's putting them up, I'm sure, the people who got it up with the bots. Secret Rare still sitting at 244. Uncommon's at 935. I think everybody's sniping this on this market right now. Common's still at 698, so 695 just hit, so we'll see. Yeah, the Electra drops we were just talking about, it looks horrible in my opinion. Ward says stacking Batgirls in the low 30s, half box price. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if it's if you're talking about the non FA Batgirl, which I think you are, man, I don't know if I. That's kind of dangerous in my opinion. But at 30, I mean, how, how low are they really going to go? Melanie says, are there more Winnie and Pooh than Donald and Daisy? I think they're real close. I think they're real, real close. Let's check it out. Um, let's do it this way so I don't have to get off the screen. I think they're I think they're both 13333 or they're I mean super close. Yeah, 13333 Melanie, so same same uh same exact edition of size. And that's what I'm saying. I think that's probably the one that should compete with them the best is Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in my opinion, but I still think that Donald and Daisy should be worth more than Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, my personal opinion. So that's why I'm saying if they're more than 600 tomorrow, I don't see a point in buying them. It just tells me they're going to go below that. At least that's my thinking. Stormport 2. <laughs> Tess, I can see the pixels. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that's funny. That's pretty funny. Let's see. Now, now I want to now I want to see it, man. I, I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah, you can. You kind of can. That's funny. Yeah, she looks, uh, yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why the, just the quality has dropped a lot on this one for sure. It doesn't even look like her, I don't think, in my opinion, but maybe it's a new actress or something that's going to look like that. She's going to find a new home under retail. Her chest is crooked. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Kryptoni says, I buy Winnie the Pooh at all costs. Disney wants us to best in their first NFTs. And we like, meh. <laughs> I'm going to buy them. I'm going to get at least two of each. I'm just going to wait till they're cheap because I have a feeling they're going to be real cheap soon. Melanie says, I have no gold moments, so I'm excited to try and get one. I think you got a really good chance tomorrow, Melanie. It's um, There's 50,000 of them, so you got a really good shot. Valdo's case was bad, too. Yeah, Valdo's case was bad. Ricky Wayne says, NYX is a big comic in the physical world. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it looks cool. I just, I just like it. It's just one of those things for some reason. It just, I'm attracted to it. DQV says the secret rare cover 9.8 of UF4 follows worth about 30K. Is it? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I knew it was more than what he was saying, but he was looking at like the ones that were listed, like the 9.2s and stuff. But yeah, I knew it was worth a lot more than that. Also, a fallout first print is much higher than 600. I think you were seeing a second print 9.8 to 6. Yeah. It, it, I liked it fine was like the 9.2s, but. I get his point, though. I see what he's trying to say. First print is 3K for 9.8. Okay. Sean says, Will Smith's kids playing Miles Morales. Yeah, I heard that. I, I saw that. I don't. Is it confirmed? Because I saw they were trying to get him. They were talking about it. I don't know if it's confirmed yet or not. Uh, Mendez. What's up, Mendez? How do you go from announcing such a big, nice golden moment drop to that ugly drop? Yeah, they, they definitely dropped the ball on that one, I think. Meat Angel says, sorry about the comment, but I want the market to keep dumping so I can buy more. It's becoming riskier to keep holding collectibles and comics, but in the long run, I believe BB will be like Pokemon. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's just, 
I don't know. I'm just sick of hearing all the FUD. That's that's my main issue. We got a big sell wall coming up on the uh, the common of today's comic at seven dollars or seven gems. The whole page is at seven gems. We're still at nine fifty on the uncommon. The rare is at twenty bucks. If you guys want to grab a rare for some MCP points, that might not be a bad rare to grab. I just think it'll be a good one, especially for twenty gems. I think that's cheap from everything I'm hearing about this comic. 54 for the ultra rare. That sounds pretty cheap to me, too. Still at 244 on the secret rare. Like I said, I'd love to grab another secret rare. Spidey Play says, Why is FF1 common underrated on the app? It's under 100 gems. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, no idea. Everything's just dropping right now. I think that's a steal at 100 gems, though, for FF1. I mean, that's close to a grail comic as you're going to get right there. Dean Solace says, what's up, everyone? What's up, my friend? How you doing? Thanks for being here. Melly says, I'm trying to get my sister on that app. She bought the Common DeLorean. I showed her a video of when it was drivable. Awesome, awesome. Heck, yeah, if she's got the app, have her do drops for you. Even, even if she doesn't want them, have her do the drops for you. Ward says, sniped another Iron Man at 900. Man, I was thinking about doing the same thing. That's so amazingly cheap for Iron Man. I just decided to put my gems into comics. But, um, yeah, that was one of my options was Iron Man. Actually, it was looking, I had, um, at the beginning of the day today, I had 1,400 gems, and it was looking last night like C-3PO was dropping. He was like 18, and I was like, man, if it gets down to 14, I was going to snag another C-3PO. But it ended up not happening. But yeah, Iron Man at a 900 is just crazy to me. So, Redis said, Watson to the Browns. Did he? Awesome. Good. That's a good place for him. Pardo says, got my first DC card NFT today. NFT today, It looks dope. Oh, really? I didn't know they were even out yet. That's cool. Tony says, Iron Man at 900. Damn, I wish I had more bread right now. Yeah, me too, man. Got to decide where you're going to put it. But, man, that's that's cheap. That's cheap. Let's see what Iron Man looks like. Two hundred eight for sale in the market. Nine thirty, nine thirty five, nine fifty, nine sixty nine, nine ninety five, nine ninety nine. Then he's back up to one k. Can't believe I paid three thirty one hundred for that like a month ago. That's sickening. Ugh, that might be my biggest regret. Nah, it's really not my biggest regret because I think that'll go back up. So yeah, I still I'm just gonna hold. Uh, Braden says I scooped twenty commons below retail and three URs below fifty. Wow, awesome man. Congrats. I need to grab some. Part of K says, looks like Golden Moments will drop uh, even more with BB pumping Golden Moments like Fed is pumping money into the stock market. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with them, you know, continually making Golden Moments. I just, it's just the market's the issue right now for me. I think everybody's sniping the same thing right now. So, like, everything that's decent is just flying off. But All right, guys. It's about time to do some giveaways. Uh, we're going to be doing giveaway for... Uh, let's see. We didn't get up to the members giveaway. We need still need uh, 12 more. We haven't got one sub since this thing's been going, guys. Come on, guys. Hit me with the sub. I'd really appreciate it. I know most of you who watch this are not subbed. It really helps the channel, really helps me out. It really helps your investment because it brings more people into the space. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway. We got uh, almost to the 100, uh, 100 people in here. So I'll do a giveaway for the room. Then I'm going to do my members only giveaway. So if anyone wants to participate in that, uh, please join the membership. It's $3.99 a month. And um, yeah, you're eligible every day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these comics from today to do the members giveaway or the giveaway right now and of course right when i say that my app stops working hold on guys i gotta reboot
All right, guys, how should I do the giveaway? How should I do the everybody giveaway? Should we do it? Uh, should we do Twitter? Should we do it on the app? Should we do what we usually do? What do you guys like? How do you guys like to do the giveaways? Man, I'm like trying to buy way down the list and still can't even get one. All right, guys. So I did just pick up the common from the day. That's what I'm going to be get, uh, giving away in the chat. So um, what we'll do, uh, Melanie says channel chat. Okay, so we'll do it in the chat. Um, uh, I like doing it other places, though, because it brings people to the channel. I tell you what, we're gonna do the VV feed thing again. So guys, just go type in uh, in your feed, type in uh, Rob stuff doing a giveaway on YouTube. That's fine. And um, I'm gonna go in and start counting. I'm gonna write a number down, and this is the person I'm gonna pick for that. So go, ready, go on the VV feed. That's on your VV feed. Just type Rob stuff doing a giveaway on YouTube, and um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I already got some people doing it. All right, I'm just going to keep scrolling until um, until it looks like you guys are done. You know, everybody who wants to join, and then I'm going to just count down from the number that I wrote down. Pick that person because I know you guys can't do it, but every you can't put anything in. But every five minutes, you can. It's like five minutes per post. So almost time, guys. Just type in Rob stuff doing a giveaway on YouTube. All right. Looks like everybody, I think that's everybody who wants to participate. You got another minute. If anybody else wants to participate, you got another minute. All right, still got some some coming in. Still got them coming in. All right, guys, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to refresh my screen right now. The number is 10. So I'm going to go down and count from here 10 of my name. That's who's going to win. All right, the first one, pros916 says, Rob Stuff doing giveaway on YouTube, not financial advice. Sugar Shane says, Rob Stuff doing a giveaway on YouTube. Go subscribe. Thank you, guys. That's two. Uh, VC Boy is number three. Dino Blaze is number four. Martin is number five. Giannis is number six. Emotions is number seven. Freaky Wayne is number eight. Garrus is number nine. And Chundi is number 10. Chundi, you won, or Chundle, C H U N D L 3, won. Uh, so, yeah, this person right here, whoever you are, Chundle, Chundle, Chundley. VV Enthusiast and Season 1 Holder, VV B-Day, April 26, 2021. Omi, common game for life. All right, brother, well, you got you a common. You got you a common from today coming to you. Hit me up on Twitter, and I will get it sent out to you. Thanks so much for participating. 
Uh, guys, we're going to definitely be doing the um, the uh, members only giveaway here in just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to make it to the subscriber giveaway because people aren't subscribing. If you want to get there, go ahead and sub. Oh, we actually got a couple more. We need 10 more to get to the sub give oh, the sub giveaway. So if you guys want to do that, uh, go sub real quick, and we'll do another giveaway for that if you guys get subbed up. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing a members only giveaway probably in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Robert said that's him. All right, Robert. Yeah, same picture. All right, buddy. Hit me up on um, hit me up on Twitter, and I will get your comic sent to you. All right, where was I at? Spidey Play says, I came on the app in mid-February. What caused a run-up in January? Just people jumped on. Just a ton of people, a ton of hype. Lots of people coming on after the uh, the, the Steamboat Willie drop, the 12 Days of Evie. Uh, that was the Christmas promotion. And just, just had a lot of hype. It was just a hot market at that time. Fun Under the Sun says, I got 12 Donald Gold moments on drop day. I have to feel bad long term. Oh, I don't. That's why a dollar cost average. I've got... You know, I do have Donald and Daisies that I paid. I think my most expensive one was 1600 I think is the most expensive one I got. But then I got one at 12 I got one at 9 I got one at 8 I got one at 6 You know, so I, I'm dollar cost averaging. That's my whole game plan. That's why I do it the way I do it. Virtual Box Break says, one of the advantages of owning a cell phone store, I get access to multiple phones, give me an advantage for the drops. My employees help me out and get the drops, and some even join BB. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Melanie says, you have to look like four under the floor because they get sniped. Well, yeah, I know. I know. It's fast. Daniel says, 14 commons. Have a feeling it will pump after gold moments. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to I think it's going to do well. I'm more just trying to snipe mints more than anything, though, right now. I'm not. I would like to grab another secret rare. Oh, Secret Rare's down to 219. I might pick up another one here in a little bit. If it gets if it gets below 200, I'll buy another one. ET Bud says, I'm a sub that always lurks. Yeah, I know. I know you're in here, man. I see you. <laughs> uh, Book says, I need to stop looking at the market. Got to save my gems from Mars Drop. I see deals everywhere. I look. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat, man. It's just so much stuff you can buy right now. Melanie says, yesterday when we were tre treating you, your channel, we got the giveaway. That's when we got a few trolls. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. NYX, uh, $7 just got swept. Yeah. Pimp and Hustle. Love your name. <laughs> Let's go. Who will it be? Yeah. AR says, Electra is looking bony. <laughs> is she the same universe as Zombie Captain America? They do. Yeah, it looks like a zombie to me. Superstar money. Only if we get Rob more subs today. Parology, the ultimate in generosity, is back with the giveaways. What? Yeah, these guys are giving away goofies. Yeah, I know y'all's big promotional thing was uh, you could give away a goofy that's worth more than a thousand, but you have to change that now because he's not worth more than a thousand anymore. <laughs> Freaking goofy's getting he's getting beat, goofy. It's crazy. Somebody said they bought one for 900 earlier. What's he at now? Is he going back up or is he still just tanking? Nah, he's at 1K. The 900's got bought up. He's at 1,010. Uh, guys, there's only there's, there's only 4,400 of those. It's the first ever secret rare for Disney. First ever Goofy on the blockchain. I just, I don't understand it. Just gonna take time. It's gonna take time for people's thinking to get where mine is, I guess. I don't know. Or I may be completely wrong. That's another option. And I realize that's an option. 
Still sitting at 219 on that secret rare. I'd like to grab another one of those. Go follow Superstar Money, guys. Great channel, great guys. I'm getting to know those guys, and they're awesome. Uh, <laughs> that guy says, quite new to Vivi. Any advice? Uh, get a helmet, get a seatbelt, and um, do not invest more money than you can afford to lose because it could all go to zero. Don't take anyone's advice. Um, you know, make your own decisions based on your own research and uh, go follow Superstar Money. That's another good piece of advice. Uh, yeah, that guy, if you see on the bottom here of the screen, you see all these names I have. These are people that are, you know, influencers in the space you can follow on YouTube. Um, don't just listen to me. Go listen to everybody because I have different opinions than everybody else. And uh, just make your own decision. That's all you can do. And uh, don't get yourself in a financial bind doing this because it can happen. DRM says Lady in the Tramp for 1800 Club here. Yeah, I didn't pay that much for any of the Lady in the Tramp. I think my most expensive Lady in the Tramp was right at a grand or 1100 something like that. But my average, like I said, I have seven of them now. I think my average is like eight or 750 something like that. So it's not as bad when you average and look at it as an average. Don, Don's a lurker too, huh? Well, thank you for being here, man. I don't mind if you guys lurk. It's all good. Superstar Money says only giving the goofies to people sub to Rob. <laughs> if people sub to Rob. Oh, man, I appreciate that. But we know that's not true, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Right, it worked. You got me two more subs, man. You're doing good. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it, Joe or Rob, whichever one you are. I don't know. I didn't see the name you gave me whenever you came in. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. But, yeah, guys, we get another uh, eight subs. We'll be doing another giveaway today. And yeah, go to Superstar Money's channel, guys. They're giving away four Goofies this month. They already gave away two. I believe the first one was on Twitter. Uh, the second one they gave away just a couple days ago was on um, TikTok, I think it was. And I'm not sure where this one's is. Uh, let, them, let them know in the chat, uh, Joe or Rob, whoever I'm talking to. Let them know in the chat where they can go to win that next Goofy because I, I don't remember where it's at. Robert says, Bat Croc statue is 250 gems away from the initial listing price. Yeah, I, I don't... I just don't know if that thing ever goes back up, to be totally honest. I just don't see the potential for it, but some people do. Shane says, that's Pimp and Hustle is me, Rob. That's my other account. <laughs> okay. Pimp and Hustle and Sugar Shane 420. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> you got to show support on both accounts. I appreciate that, my friend. Let's go. Yes, sir. Molly says, hello, VV community. Hello, Mo Moha. Thank you for being here. Moa. Uh, Starbucks says he fell mode in at 2100. Yeah, guys, that's why I'm wondering what the market's going to do. I'm wondering, it feels to me like a lot of people have learned the FOMO lesson. A lot of people. So it makes me want, you know, once everybody learns that lesson, it's going to completely change how this market works. It's going to completely flip the market, you know? So it's like, what's really going to happen tomorrow? You know, is there going to be a crazy FOMO aftermarket? You know, we don't know. And uh, I'm interested to see. It's going to be, it's going to be a very interesting, um, Lesson in psychology as far as how the market's going to work. And I think it's going to be a very good learning opportunity. And I think it's one we all need to pay a lot of attention to just to see how, because everybody I'm talking to's opinion is now I'm not going to follow in. I'm going to go for the drop. I'm going to sell after the drop and I'm just going to wait. You know, everybody wants it. We all want it. We all think it's cool. We all want it in our collection. But I think everybody's got that mentality or a lot of us have that mentality now. If everybody gets that mentality, the market's going to completely change always evolving it's always evolving it's crazy hey guys we're actually getting some subs superstar money's hooking us up um we need six more six more we'll be doing a giveaway we're at 3269 right now thank you guys for doing that uh i know like when i look at my um my analytics only like 22 percent of people who watch me are sub so i know we have six people in here who aren't subbed if you guys wouldn't mind it's free just hit that sub button and we'll do a giveaway so whoever wins that giveaway would greatly appreciate it for sure and you might win it so you never know Oh, 3270. Five more, guys. Five more. Thank you so much. Anthony says, hey, Rob, do you think we'll see Golden Moment for 200 uh, for the first few days? Uh, we're going to have a lot of people flipping Golden Moment. I think it's possible. I do think it's possible. I think um, my thought process is kind of where Dino's is. I think these all fall pretty much between Lady and the Tramp and um, and Donald and Daisy. So I think what's going to happen, I think all the FOMO people are going to jump in. The price is going to be high at first, and then it's just going to tank. And I think it's going to go in that range. I think we have a range to look at because there's, in my mind, um, 
I think that's about where they should all be. They should all be in that range. And right now, Lady and the Tramp's trading for what three eighty, and uh, and Donald and Daisy's trading for six. So in my mind, they all four should be in that range. I'm, the only one I think that may go a little higher would be Chippendale, but only because there's so many of them. Um, you know, but but I don't know. You know, and I just I don't I think anything higher than that. I just think you're taking too big a risk. I think that's FOMO in my opinion. Kobe says, can barely find a second to sip coffee, Rob, but I'm lurking and working. Yeah, brother, I know you're everywhere. Kobe's got eyes everywhere. Kobe is like the, um, I have some theories about Kobe. One of them um, involves, you know, Kobe being multiple people, which is why he only likes to show his hands. You only see his face on very few occasions. He's all over the place. He's on every channel. I like literally will be live. And I will be watching, like, I'll have somebody else's chat on the monitor, like somebody else's live on the monitor, and Kobe will be in both rooms while he's saying he's working. So he's either multiple people, or I know for a fact, and I know this for a fact about you, Kobe, nobody on the planet has ever seen Kobe Collects and Batman in the same room at the same time. They've never seen it. I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, Don, TJIF, everyone. Rob, we appreciate your spot on Insight. It's a great channel to be in. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. We're going to be doing the members only giveaway in about 10 minutes, guys. So if you want to join the membership, it's uh, $3.99 or three ninety nine a month, and you can join all of them. So, uh, uh, yeah, you're, you'll be signed up for every day. Uh, you do have to be here to win. So, I'll be doing the members only here in just a little bit. My attention is not here, guys. I'm still trying to snipe this market. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Superstar Money says, it's Joe. Rules are send a Fastos uh, AR picture for our Instagram. Be subscribed to Rob's stuff and check out Kobe's live tonight. I'm all for it. That sounds great to me. All right, guys, that's what you got to do. You got to send your AR picture to, to Superstar Money's Instagram, which I think is super, it's either Superstar Money or Superstar Money underscore. I'm not sure which one. I'm sure Joe can let us know that. And then he said you have to send an AR picture of Fastos, which everybody on the app should have a Fastos right now. I think Fastos is the only thing on the app right now, collectible, that's going up in value because of the, the influence that Superstar Money has on the on the BB space. Um, that's why Fastos is skyrocketed. But picture your Fastos and AR. Be subscribed to my channel and go watch Kobe's live tonight. And you can win a Goofy. You can win a freaking Goofy. I don't think that's the exact rules, but um, but yeah, go follow their channel, find out how to win that. Because uh, last one, I don't think it was a whole lot of members, so somebody or a whole lot of people registered. So whoever won that goofy, I, I think it was like a one in fifty chance or something. So it's a pretty good chance to get a thousand gem in, NFT for free. So you definitely want to go follow those guys. They have great giveaways and Parology. I don't really know who Parology is, but apparently they just started a YouTube channel and they do a lot of great stuff for the community too. So support them any way you can as well. Tito says, thanks for the comment yesterday. Hey, no problem, man. Anytime. Thank you for being here and participating. Parta says, tomorrow's market will be similar to Pixar drop last weekend. Possibly. Very possibly. Jared says, no way anything's less than 500. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I think you're probably right, but I think that's um, I think that's a bad investment because I think eventually it will go to that low on a lot of it. Uh, Todd McMar McHib says, Todd McFarlane and Steve Aoki project. Oh, okay. I know who both those people are, but I don't know what you're talking about. Kobe's the hardest working man at VV. Yep, I think he's something like that. Or he's a, he's a cyborg. He's one or the other. Kobe's boss level. <laughs> Fudu says, uh, sit tight and enjoy the VV ride, guys. We're all going to be certified astronauts soon. Either that or we're going to all be um, certifiable in a loony bin. One or the other. One of the two will happen. Oh, four digit on the floor. I know I'm going to miss it. There's no way I get this. Yeah, it's gone. I have found, guys, whenever you're trying to snipe these comics, if you wait till like eight o'clock at night, it, you, you usually can snipe a lot quicker or a lot easier at like eight, nine o'clock at night, you know, like, like 12 hours after the drop, because I know we're not all in the same place, but, um, yeah, I've, I've found that the prices usually tend to drop down a little bit, and usually the lower mint numbers, you can usually grab, I can usually grab them a lot easier at that time, which I probably shouldn't be telling you guys that, but I've just found it works for me. Uh, 
Where am I at? All right, Mr. Planet Poffin says, let's go. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, their Instagram is superstar money underscore is the Instagram. Let's go ahead and pull it up on the screen so everybody can see where they need to go to register. Instagram.com. Superstar of money. Money underscore. All right, guys, this is what you're looking for right here. You're looking for superstar money underscore on Instagram. Uh, let's see. I don't even know how to use Instagram, to be totally honest with you guys. But anyway, this is what you're looking for. Go sign up here. Go send them a picture of your Fastos in AR doing something, and you have a chance to win. And I think you also have to be subscribed to Parology on somewhere. I don't know. Go to their channel. They'll tell you how to do it. But yeah, this is where you want to go to sign up, guys. You can win a free Goofy. A free freaking Goofy. I'm not going to do it because I want one of you guys to do it. But if I was just in the community and not like an influencer in the community, I would definitely be trying to do that. Uh, Clint says, Rob, did you scratch your itch for opening more Pokemon cards? If not, give it time and let's spam the PV feed. <laughs> yeah, I might, uh, I might come on later and do some more, uh, Pokemon cards. I'm probably about to get out of here. Uh, it's Friday. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, and I got, I got to go do some, I like got some tax stuff. I got to go dig through, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, yeah, my tax guy just about gave me a heart attack earlier today. So I got to go take care of that because I do not want to owe the IRS money. That is not somewhere I want to be. Hmm. Should I grab a four-digit secret rare of today's comic for 234? That's too high. I'm gonna wait for it to go lower. Oh well. Starbucks says either right, retire with Vivi or work at a McDonald's. I do both, man. Retire with Vivi and go to work at McDonald's because then you can do. If you work at McDonald's and you don't need money, you can have a blast for about three days and they're going to fire you, but you can have a lot of fun. BMN says, What could be the catalyst that would make prices go back up? Oh, I mean, we got a lot of stuff coming, man. Uh, I think a big part of it's going to be just the overall economy turning around. We do have. Um, Peace talks going on and between Russia and Ukraine, that's going to help. We have uh, other markets starting to look like they're stabilizing a little bit, you know, as far as stocks and crypto. Um, we just got to get, you know, we got to get interest back in. That's all it boils down to. You know, we have MTLs coming. We have MCP coming. We have a lot of stuff coming. We're just, a, it's just a startup, guys. It's just a new company. And, um, you know, everybody wants the prices to be like all time highs. But if we pull back, you know, just a couple months ago, we're still way higher than we were in January, at the beginning of January. So, you know, you got to just kind of look back on the chart, and look at the, the big picture. We're going to be fine, in my opinion. I mean, if you don't think so, then take your money out, you know, and come back in later. Mr. Planet's Profit says, I uh, any info on MCP I might have missed. I haven't heard anything new. Um my opinion on MCP has changed a little bit before I was like 100% against it. But now that they're saying it's going to have something to do with, um, with renting in the future. Uh, I, I do like the idea of renting NFT. So I am kind of cognizant at least of the points I'm getting, but um, I still don't think it's worth just like, I think you're better off getting grail items than you are getting items that are good for MCP in my personal opinion, but any, any info, no, no, no info that I know of anyway. Uh, Shashi says, yes, Rob, Pokemon reveal. Uh, what do you guys want? You want me to open Pokemon cards? I might do that. I might come on later tonight and, uh, and do some more Pokemon. I actually got a whole mystery box I could open. Um, I got a $1,500 mystery box in the other day that I could open. I might do that later on tonight. Maybe games or MCP. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Shashi says, catch you later if you come on. Yeah, I may. I mean, it depends on who's live. I don't want to, I don't want to step on anybody's feet. You know, I, that's the thing. I mean, I kind of feel like we've all kind of niched out our own times and I just don't want to jump on anybody's time. Starbucks says, what's your opinion on Vivi always saying coming soon for everything? I, I, I mean, 
I love. I, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think they they need to do stuff correctly. As long as they're doing stuff correctly when it gets released, I'll be happy. I don't want them to rush. Like everybody wants cash out. But if you, that's one of the few things I think that could kill this company would be if they rushed cash out and screwed it up. I think that could kill it. So as long as it's coming, I, I believe them that it's coming. As long as they do it right, and we don't have any issues. I'm fine with it taking as long as it takes. Keisha Davis says, you know, homie, you're grinding. Was just watching you last night at 1 a.m. What's up with Sunday drop? She looks hot. She looks like a zombie to me. She looks she looks messed up to me. I think it's one of the worst looking NFTs we've ever had, in my opinion. Shazi says, uh, Rob, do you get drops on wireless connection or wired connection? Oh, wireless. I'm just right next to my router. Uh, Mr. Planet Prophet says, oh my God, Rob, mystery box, please, sir. Yeah, I'll open it up. I'll open it up. The Gale's here, guys. Somebody else you guys need to go follow is The Gale. He's got some amazing insight on his channel. Been here for a long time. You're friendly neighborhood genius. I love your intro, man. Your intro and your outro are great. If you guys, Even if you don't like his videos, go just listen to the intro and outro. His voice, the way he says it, the way he puts everything together is just awesome. Holy cow. Dr. Prophet, big fan. Keep up the content. Man, I'm a big fan myself. The man with a million walls. I like you. Um, I don't know if you know this, Doctor Prophet, but you, uh, you got that number eighty-eight walt, and uh, I was in the market to get a walt, my second walt, and I was all pumped up. And uh, you bought your number eighty-eight walt, and it was actually on the Twitter screen on my channel when I bought my second walt, and uh, it was like. Oh man, it was it was just really cool the way it all worked out. So that was a really interesting video. Thank you for everything you do for the community, man. Uh, the Gale, Doctor Prophet, it's an honor. Thank you guys for being here. The Gale says, uh, uh, "No get being stepped on." Do you, Rob? There's so many creators these days; it's unavoidable. Yeah, man. But you know, I am extremely blessed to be in the position I'm in, and I don't want to. Um, I don't do this for the money. You know, I do this for the love of the community and you know the love of Evie. And there's there's content creators out there that are in a different place in their life that need the money. And that's I know that comes off as corny or stupid, but I just try, man. I just try to stay off of everybody's feet. I know it's in, it's impossible. And that's why I try to promote everybody in the channel and try because I don't know what everybody else's situation is, you know, and I just I don't know. There's enough to go around, <laughs> but I just don't want to, I don't want to take any, you know, step on anybody's feet. That's another thing, guys. Um, If you guys don't mind, and I know I, I brought this up on the channel the other day, but I just want to share it one more time. Um, uh, TV Vision merchandise, they are closing down their website and we had several people go in and buy some stuff the other day off the channel. This is a site, guys. Uh, we all know their content. We all know them. They're having trouble getting monetized on YouTube. They are taking this down at the end of the month because they said they're just not making enough money. So I went and bought some merch. Some other people went in and bought some merch. So if you guys want to just support some YouTube content creators that I think are going to be big in the future, you know, and just help them out, um, go check out their merch. At least go check it out. You know, I got a, I got my hoodie coming. I'll be rocking it on the channel once I get it here. Uh, I actually picked up this one. I think it's the one I got, the purple, the pink and purple. So, yeah, if you guys don't mind, if you got a few extra bucks, you want to support some people who really try hard for the community. I think it's a really good, really good cause. I know how hard it is. I used to, you know, I used to I'm in the retail business. I know it sucks whenever you you design something and then it just doesn't pan out. You know, it just makes it kind of hard. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Player is Electra, a man or a woman. Looks like a zombie to me. I think it's a zombie. Um. Shaji says, Rob, not going to lie, I saw a side to you that's so entertaining, and that was last night. I wasn't even a big fan, being honest, but last night you scored a fan for sure. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Melanie says, Rob, because a good guy. I try. I try real hard. Mr. Planet Rob says, YouTube is big enough for everyone for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Ripto Tony says, well, moving in the chat. Yeah, man, I, I was not expecting to see uh, those two guys in here at the same time, especially. Wow, I never get. I've never spoke to Doctor Prophet before. Would love. I know he doesn't show his face, but I'd love to have him on the channel sometime if he ever got the chance. I would love to talk to him. He um, 
I try to watch his moves as much as I can because you know you guys know me. I like to I like to stay away from the FUD and the negativity, and I like to watch the people who are where I want to be. And Dr. Prop is where I want to be. You know, I, I have goals set to be, you know, in that mindset that he's in. I, I love his mindset. I love where his thought process is. Uh, I'd love the chance to pick his brain if he ever wants to come on. Uh, Melanie says, I saw their video on the uh, it call me game rumor. It was really good. Yeah, they, they do great content. I don't know why they're having trouble getting monetized. That's another reason I don't feel bad for them. Or I feel bad for them. Uh, Kobe with the super chat. Thank you, my friend. Simply for the algorithm, YouTube might share you out more if they see you bring revenue like this. <laughs> there you go. There you go, man. The deal. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Kryptoni says, Gail and Rob is why I bought HRO boxes. Yeah, Gail, we got to be friends on there, man. I saw your post and I was jumping on here when I saw it and I completely forgot about it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you, we're going to be friends on there too, see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I think HRO is going to be big, man. I like the idea of, um, to me, it's not just the physical and the digital. It's the idea of being able to grade that physical, a PSA 10, and have the digital, the exact same digital, and keep those two together. As someone who grades, I mean, guys, I grade constantly. I'm constantly grading cards. To me, that's going to be huge. I think that's going to be really big, and um, I'm, I'm super looking forward to it. I've uh, probably put too much money in it already, but, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun, too. Uh, <laughs> the guy's a genius. Yes, he is. He's got the third eye, man, and he's bullish on HRO. That should tell you something, not financial advice. Mr. Planet Prophet says the Gale love the vid so much. Keep up the great work. Yes, sir. He does a great job. Brayden says HRO is going to be fire. I love DC. I'd pay five grand for a mythic joker. I will keep that in mind if I pull one. <laughs> Kobe Gleg says, Rob, I thought about another strategy today. I'll share with you later. I absolutely, man, would love it. Hey, Kobe, when's the drawing? When's your next uh, your next giveaway? It's today, isn't it? Didn't I see that? Let's see. Scheduled for 5 p.m. So Kobe is scheduled for 5 p.m. Hey Kobe, I'm about to um I'm about to send you a message on Twitter, Kobe. Sent you a message, Kobe. Hit me back. Tell me what you think. Yeah, the cat, the cat pick for the Gale. Yeah, that was cool. I love that cat. That's a cool looking cat. Uh, Kryptoni says, "Is that a good pull, the Mythic Joker?" I have no idea. I'm assuming if it's Mythic, I think everything Mythic's the good stuff. I don't. I guys, I have never bought into an investment without and without doing any research before in my life. But just the idea of what it was and what I saw I could do with it just made me made me buy it. Um, you know, I'm not going to invest more than I already have just because I um, I don't know enough about it. But I am doing a lot of research. And if I really like it, I may get more. <clears throat> BMN says, am I risking my VV account buying gems or collectibles off the app or collectibles for 50 or 60? No, not at all. Uh, they've, they've said they know people do it. The only thing is you... Um, you are risk getting you're risking getting scammed BMN, but you're um but you're not you're not risking your account. They won't take your account for it. Uh, but you are risking getting scammed. So make sure you have a good escrow or you're dealing with somebody you absolutely know and trust. Uh, that's super, super important. Uh, and if you need an escrow, go see Dino. Dino does escrow. Kobe does escrow, I believe, too. 
Uh, Melanie says, how did the giveaways work, Kobe? I've seen them in my feed about blind boxes. I need to pop in. Yeah, he um, it's, they're actually really cool. He's got some great prizes. Um, it's just a certain amount, and it's like a raffle. Yeah, everybody buys a ticket, and then he just draws uh, numbers and, or draws people's names and matches them to collectibles, and you can win collectibles and stuff. He's got some cool stuff. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time, there's still about five spots left, 105 to 110 filled. Awesome, man. Awesome. Lucas says Electra is so ugly. How is VB releasing that abomination? Yeah, abomination. I agree with you, man. It looks terrible. Terrible. I thought the same exact thing, Kobe. The same thing you just messaged me. I was, <laughs> we think so much alike. It's crazy. <laughs> I think Kobe's my, um, I, I think we were, we were twins in another life. <laughs> our, our lives are so parallel. It's nuts. We even think the same, the same crazy thoughts. Well, that's nuts. Uh, you heard Kobe drop bread on HRO. I hear you. Um, uh, Kobe, you deserve a mythic joker. You do. Absolutely. Melanie says you buy dirty gems. They may retract the gems and you can be negative gems. I've seen that before. Um, I heard them talk about that for a long time, but I don't know. I don't know how you would know. I, I mean, how are you supposed to know if you buy dirty gems? That's the thing. Um, the best, uh, the best way I've found to avoid that is just either buy from people, you know, or um, just buy collectibles. I don't see how they could pull the dirty gem thing with you on collectibles that somebody else bought, you know. But I don't know. I mean, I I just know they said in the um, they said in the AMA that they don't, you know, you can do whatever you want. They're just not responsible for it. Uh, Mr. Planet Prophet said Randy's good for escrow for a Loki. <laughs> there you go. Randy's just always so busy. I don't know if he actually wants to do escrow. I know Dino wants to do escrow, um, but Randy's always got stuff going on. But yeah, I would definitely trust Randy as well. Uh, Kryptoni said, I bought over 25,000 gems at once through Dino. Yep, there you go. Also, um, I know Kobe, Kobe does gems sometimes too, so you might want to hit Kobe up too. I don't know. I don't know if he's still doing that or not. Yeah, Melanie, go check out Kobe's stream. He, Kobe does a great stream. Jay Memory says, Kobe escrow for me live. He's awesome. There you go. Uh, Kobe, are you still doing escrow? I mean, I hate to like promote you to do escrow if you don't want to do escrow. I know you just told me your, um, what you just told me, so I don't know if you're still doing that or not. Alex says, Electra is probably going below drop price. I agree. I think the common and uncommon will probably be below drop price. And it's only four collectibles, so I don't know if there's going to be a secret rare. There might just be common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare. Kind of makes me wonder how much that, um, because one of the places, if I understand this right, I may be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong and you guys know, but apparently one of the places that actually makes the NFTs, from what I understand, is in Ukraine. So it makes me wonder, is there a reason they can't do like the animation? I don't know. I'm just, it's just a thought. But um, yeah, it's just kind of strange to me that the ugliest NFT they've ever put out is that one, but who knows? Kobe says, Kryptoni for, oh, okay, you guys talking to you, I'm sorry. Uh, PlayStation 1 Electra, yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's not, the graphics are not good on it. <laughs> yeah, me and Kobe, yeah, we think a lot alike. Uh, I would trust Kobe with my Tesla. <laughs> I'd bring it back detailed, yeah. This is how good a guy Kobe is, guys. Dino wanted a, a, a Walt statue to take a picture with at Disney World or Disneyland. So Kobe just sent him a wall. <laughs> so just send it back later. <laughs> yeah. I think you can trust him. Uh, Edson, never heard of a dirty gem. Do you have a source? They were talking about dirty gems a lot, but um, what a dirty gem is, is a gem that somebody buys basically with a stolen credit card. And then that credit card is reported stolen. They do a chargeback on the Apple store. <clears throat> and that's what they were calling dirty gems. And I think people were saying that it um that you could get your account banned if you were caught buying dirty gems. But then I don't think it actually ever happened, or maybe it did happen a few times. And they said they weren't going to do that. I don't know the whole story, but that's what a dirty gem is. So yeah, I know it was a real thing. I just 
I've never, I've bought so many gems and collectibles off app. It's crazy. And I've never had an issue. You just got to make sure you know who you're dealing with. Braden says the only way you can be negative is if you call the app store, play store and get a refund. People were fudding about the dirty gem thing on Twitter. See, I don't, I don't know the details. I've heard, I've heard so many different variations. I just know I've never had an issue, but I mean, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. I just don't know. <laughs> Poison gems are a real thing for sure. Kobe says, I always have gems available and I always do escrow. Well, there you go, guys. Dino or Kobe. That's where I would go. I trust both of them. Or Randy. I would trust Randy too. Mr. Planet Pops, yeah, big drop P. Yeah. Uh, the biggest bro says, What's up, Rob? How's it going, man? Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Kryptoni said, I need some gems, Kobe. I'll hit you on Discord. There you go. Look at that. Making people happy. That's what I do. Guys, sub to the channel. We can do a giveaway. We need uh we still need five more subs. Five more subs, and we'll be doing a giveaway. Come on, guys, give me five subs. If you guys can do that real quick, I'll do another giveaway. I'm going to be doing the members only giveaway here in just a little bit, also. So if you are a member, hang out for a few more minutes, and I'll do the members only giveaway. Um, if you want to join the membership, it's three ninety nine, and you'll be eligible every day of the month. Uh, yeah. So I said that. Yeah, the chargeback thing. Kobe is your favorite human ever. Wow. I don't, I'm still not convinced he's a human. I don't think he's, I don't think he's a human, but you, know, you think what you want. I think he's got a lot of people fooled. Uh, Victor Texas says stellar on discord is trustful. I did my first gem purchase on rate. Yeah. I don't want to promote anybody. I don't know in here. So if you don't mind, please don't promote any other escrows that I don't know. I just don't want people saying, Oh, I got recommended in your chat and somebody gets screwed. I, I don't want that to happen. And I do know, I do know some, there's their discords. I trust, I trust Kobe. I trust Dino. I trust Randy. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't mind, don't promote it unless I know them, unless they're in the chat and I know them, please don't promote them on my channel. I'd appreciate that. Um, Ed says, Oh, you're talking to Melanie. Sorry about that. But yeah, it was a, it was a real thing for a while, but I think it's kind of just gone away now. Four more subs to the giveaway guys. Uh, Kobe says, I'd recommend Dino over me. I have no baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't do it. You know, I would just rather other people get it if they want it. Alfie says, Hey Rob, late to the stream today. Only just seen the medium article. Sorry if you've already gone over it. Um, would like to hear what you think. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be interesting as far as the way the market goes. I think these should not sell. I don't think any of them long-term should sell for more than Donald and Daisy. I just don't. That's my personal opinion. Um, the only one that I think may sell at that range or a little higher would be um, Chippendale and maybe Winnie the Pooh, like right around that range. But there's just so many Winnie the Poohs. Uh, I think the the right buying range for these should be between the Lady and the Tramp and the Donald and Daisy. So I think if they're over 600, I think you're paying too much. I think you're going to have the opportunity to pay less further on, uh, you know, later on. But um You know, it's just, I don't know. But if a lot of people are thinking that way, and I feel like a lot of people are thinking that way right now, uh, it's just, you know, there's, there's just no telling how it's going to work. That's my point. I feel like a lot of people have learned from the last four drops, you know, that everything goes up, people sell off, and everything goes straight down. Everybody tries for the drop, they instantly sell them as high as they can, and then they just wait. And I think people are learning that lesson. It sounds to me like everybody I'm talking to, that's the lesson everybody's going through. That's what everybody's thinking right now. And if that's what everybody ends up thinking, then there you go. You know, it's just, um, it, it, it just is what it is. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens for sure. But him says, you think any of the new gold moments will go to 300, 400 within the day? Uh, maybe not within the day, but I think they will eventually. I mean, right now we have the um, Lady and the Tramp trading in the 300 range. I don't know if these are if any of these are worth less than that, but I think that uh, I think that is a floor. I, I think I think we'll see. Maybe not tomorrow, but I think we will see them all in the four to 500 range at some point. I really do, and like within the next month or two. 
Kryptonite says, I wonder what comics and crypto would rate you, Kobe. <laughs> Come on, guys. Be nice. Be nice. Brahim says, uh, I need to sell gems. Anyone have a Discord for me where I can do that? Uh, I'm, I'm looking to buy some at 50% rate if you want to sell them here on the channel. Mr. Planet Profit. Uh, Brandon says, same number of Winnie as Donald and Daisy. Yep, same exact number. So that's going to be interesting. I think it's a very good... You know, they're both double FA, or yeah, they're both double FA. They're both the same exact mint number. So it's going to be really interesting to look at that Donald and Daisy chart. Let's do that now. Let's check out the Donald and Daisy chart from drop. And if we pull it up here, we'll see. Okay, here's what it did after the drop. And this, in my mind, Winnie the Pooh and Donald and Daisy should work the exact same way. I mean, to me, they're that close to each other. I don't know if you guys may think I'm wrong. I don't know. But I mean, let's see. Okay, it started out and it shot up to. 1700 and then it just down 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 and here we are five weeks later and we're sitting at 1614 so it's dropped 1100 gems in a month um i don't see any bullish catalyst on the horizon so i don't see any reason this doesn't do this tomorrow now what it very well could do because we have five of them instead of just two you know, it could, you know, come out here and just go up and down. It could start out at five or 600. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to start. But um, I do think there's no, in my mind, there's no way it doesn't just go up and then come down, you know, at to certain some point. So I think it's a really bad idea to buy anything tomorrow. I think it's a bad idea to buy any of these tomorrow. Um, if you wanted to spend gems tomorrow, I'd be looking at other places. I'd be looking at other stuff that people aren't looking at. And then, you know, is it smart to buy the second day? Well, I mean, this is like day one and two right here. It was still going up like third, four. This is like the first week, you know, because it dropped on the, so the first week, a week after it was sitting at 1250, because this is the 21st. Oh, sorry. This is the 21st. It was sitting at a thousand. So it, in one week, it dropped 700 gems. The second week, which would be the 28th, it was at 11.39. So that second week, it just did some consolidating. Of course, it dipped down and came back up. And then the third week, which is right here, is when it got, you know, just down into the sub-territory. So it might be worth waiting until, you know, three weeks. I don't know. You know, that's it's going to be interesting how people play this market. Um... Starbucks says uh, Victor, Texas, Stellar, and a few big whales are starting their own uh, gem trading server on Discord. Okay. Yeah, guys, let's not let's not promote other people in here unless unless I personally know them. Please, I don't want people in here getting scammed by people I don't know. Um, if they're your friends or whatever, and you know them and you trust them, tell them to come in here and talk to me and get to know me, and then you can promote them in my room. All right. Uh, yeah, go to Dino's Discord, or like I said, hit up Kobe. Uh, Mr. Planet Prophet says, I hope they're four or five hundred range. That's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking four or five, maybe even three. I, I really do. I mean, there's five of them. That's another thing we got to think about. There's five of them, so people's money is going to be spread out. We've never had a gold moment with five drops before, you know? And, um, you know, if everybody's going after... Pooh and Piglet, and everybody's going after, you know, um, Chippendale. What's going to happen to the other three? You know, they might tank. I don't know. You know, nobody knows. Um, uh, Daniel says, with VV uh, deciding not to put restrictions on off-app gym transactions, I wonder whether this is mitigation and increase in the gem supply overall so prices across the board just keep dropping yeah that's got something to do with it uh mr planet Prophet says anyone else? but let me go back to this you're always going to have off app transactions guys it's always going to happen i mean i'm still going to be buy i'm still going to buy everything off app even after we have mtl and the reason is people are going to be willing to sell for less to get out quicker because mtl you know once you once you cash out it's going to take a month to get your money well it's going to cost you let's say 12% after all the fees and everything to get out. So that puts you at 88%. Well, people are still going to be willing to sell at 70% to get out instantly. So it's never going to change unless they just, you know, you know, make it to where you can't transfer gems or collectibles off app. 
you know, so, but I don't think it, I don't think it ever changes. I mean, people are always going to sell off that. It may not be as cheap as they're selling now because they'll have that other option and there may not be as many people doing it, but it's always going to be a thing. Mr. Planet Profit says, anyone else see they are uh, the basically second series of Disney Animation Studios Golden Moments? Because I think Elsa and the Hat are the only Disney Animation, uh, one of two of one NFTs on the blockchain, I think. That's a very good point. Uh, I know they're going to call it duos is what they're going to call it. You know, it's going to have another section. It's not going to be under the animation studio. I don't think. I think it's going to be called duos. Um, at least that's what they did last time with the Valentine's one. See, they haven't looked in the market yet. No, I don't want to go to my vault. Oh, man. Yeah, they don't have them in the market yet. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be a different section for duos is what it's going to be called, but I don't know. Brayden says, Rob, I'd love to wait three weeks, but I don't have it in me. I hear you, man. No, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. And I'm not saying it's the right move. I just it's going off of everything we've seen so far. I mean, but I mean, even look at Woody. You know, remember last week when I was telling you guys everybody's going to FOMO into Woody? What did they do? Everybody FOMO into Woody. Woody is down to nothing. I mean, he's just tanked in a week. Daniel says, and I say that someone uh, that is someone who buys gems off that. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, I I I wish they didn't allow buying gems off that. I do. I wish they didn't allow it because it would make our NFTs worth more. But as long as they allow it, I'm gonna do it because that's the way you get an advantage, and it's not illegal. There's nothing wrong with it. So I think you're crazy if you don't do it personally. But um, yeah, I, I wish they would. You know, as a business and to you know help every everything get up. I, I agree with you. They should they should um, get rid of it. Meet Angel says, low Ben and VV for a long time. A month ago, everyone was bullish buying. Now when prices are juicy, they're not buying. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing from the beginning, buying as much as I can. That's what I'm doing. I'm dollar cost averaging up, dollar cost averaging down. I mean, that's just my game plan. Victor Texas says, uh, LOL, never heard of that. I'm a regular guy. I wish I was a whale. Yeah, I wish I was a whale too. Where you at in Texas, Victor? I'm from Louisiana. Uh, Fahim says, anyone willing to buy for six cents? Uh, not me. Kryptoni says, you're right about that. It has to be season two, right? Elsa and the hat was season one. For yeah, but I think it's going to be a different category. I know what he's saying and he's right. I agree. They probably should be the same, but I think they're, we're going to have a golden moment section called duos. In my opinion, it's probably going to complete its own set. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that is true, Kobe. Um, that it just—it's just the current supply. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't actually change the supply. It just makes people buy off app. They're, so they're actually they're just trading out instead of purchasing new. I get. What, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. Walt Disney Animation Studios. Yeah, it may. It may be part of it. I just. It would be the first time they ever did that because right now golden moments yeah see it's already in here yeah it's not it's not animation studios it's duos see it's called duos in the app i know you guys can't see it but you guys all have the app so you could look it up but yeah see golden uh disney duos golden moments and yeah there's the drop screen uh, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are new here, since we have the drop screen, I'm going to show you how to do this drop. First of all, clear out your phone. Clear everything out of your phone you have there and restart your phone, okay? Because you want as much bandwidth, as much power, as much everything as you can get. Get as close to your router as you possibly can get. Make sure everything's restarted. Turn off everything in your house that's using that router and just do that, okay? Once this timer gets down to like two seconds or three seconds, tap right here okay now you don't want to tap you want to tap between these two lines okay on this side you want to tap right here now don't tap too high because if you do you're going to pull this expansion screen down and it's going to screw you up okay so do some practice taps first and then i usually start like at two seconds and that's when i start tapping and that's how i get drops and i get 
most of the collectible drops doing that. Okay. We have a lot of drops tomorrow. So you have a really good chance. So anybody who's new here is wondering how to get a drop. That is the way I do it. It works out really well for me. And uh, you have a really good chance tomorrow because there's a lot of these. Kobe Collect says Homer and Bart just got another first like they need. First, like they need any more momentum. First duo. There you go. Yeah, you're right. Jay Murray says, agree 100% Rob. Fees and transfer time will push people to sell it up. Yep, exactly. Which is another reason I do. I, I kind of wish you couldn't buy and sell a app, but I think they're going to have to let you do it because it's just not fair to have people's money tied up like that when other people are willing to buy. I mean, it's free trade. They want a free market. You can't have everything. Me and Angel says people need to realize that this NFT world is brand new and we have no idea which product will survive. And most of the people on VV are not millionaires. They just want to become one. Only time will tell. Yeah, but a lot of people don't understand that you... Um, you're not going to become a millionaire without the risk, without the headaches, without dealing with all the BS that everybody gets so mad about. That's why you become a millionaire, because you're early. You're early and you put up with that stuff. And that's why you get paid at the end. If you get paid, not financial advice, could go to zero. Uh, Kryptoni says, Golden Moment still more most bullish projects on that. I, I agree. I completely agree. That's why they keep dropping it. <laughs> Mr. Planet Profit says, Rob stuff, how do you buy off app? We're at right here. Um, people sell to me all the time on my YouTube channel. Uh, I only do it if they send first. I only pay with PayPal, um, Cash App, Zelle. I don't I don't use any crypto. It's all done here. And uh, I never send first. Biscion says, I don't see anything short term making these GMs go up. I would not be surprised if the Flounder and Sebastian are under 300 by midday with Lemire and Cogsworth not far behind. That's very possible. Very, very possible. Yeah, short term, I don't think they're going to go up, which is good. That's why it's uh, accumulation time. Houston. All right, Victor. I'm from Lake Charles, uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. I go to, you go to Houston all the time where the casinos are. Uh, Maverick says, when I hit a blue chip on the drop like these, I have such a hard time letting go of it. I like that in 10 to 20 years, only one account has held the piece. I feel like there might eventually be value in that. Well, there you go, man. That's another good thought if you look at it that way. Um, I don't know. I, I agree. I, if you get one on the drop and you hold it, I, you're going to be good. It's never good. You know, mo I don't think these ever go below drop price. If they ever go below drop price, then uh, we're all in a lot of trouble. If gold moments ever go below drop price, we're all in a lot of trouble. So, yeah, I mean, that might be a good play, too, you know. Um, well, the only reason I say sell it right when you get it is just because I'm looking at these charts of what's happened to the last few. I mean, and they all look exactly the same. The last drops have all looked exactly the same. You know, they shoot up. And if you can sell here and buy back in here, you can just, you know, you just make a lot of gems. That's what I'm looking at. And every chart we look at, okay, this is the Donald Duck lenticular card. Oops. What'd I do? Oh, it's going to make me re-log in. Oh, the count's dropping some more, guys. Dropping some more. But, I mean, even if we look at Woody, you know what it do? Last weekend, shot up. And if you're buying now, you'd have made, you know, you'd have, you'd have almost doubled your money because you shot up here, you sold here, you bought here. Uh, same thing with, let's go down to something that's even. And everything from the last few weeks is just getting beat to death. Uh, well, we just looked at Donald Daisy, but let's look at Lady and the Tramp. The other last golden moment, what happened? It was up and then it was just straight down. You know, it just. If you sell, you want to sell up here, you know, we'd all rather sell up here and buy back down here. And I just don't know what's going to change it. It's not like we've had any big market changes. Everything's still going down. So I don't know why this wouldn't, these wouldn't react the exact same way. Just my thought. I may be wrong, but that's how I'm going to play it. Ink the first V on your hat yellow. Why would I do that? Is there a reason? Uh, crack, crack kid, car collector. I'm still waiting for Woody to go to 150. I settled for a 5150 Black Panther common and the up house. Great advice on waiting because I was going to buy it 300. Yeah, in this market, man, everything's still dipping. Everything's still dipping, especially this new stuff. You know, if you're buying right now, you need to be buying the stuff 
from season one and season two from last year because that stuff has already got way less people trying to flip it, okay? The stuff that just came out since the drop, I would say everything from Batcroc to now, you know, which is Batcroc, Lenticular Cards, New Golden Moments, uh, um, Black Panther, uh, and Pixar, that stuff doesn't have the flippers out yet. So those flippers are still constantly competing with each other, trying to get out, and that keeps dropping the prices. So I would, if you're buying right now, you need to be buying the stuff that, especially collectibles, comics is a little bit different. But if you're buying right now, you need to be buying the stuff that was released, you know, that has the flippers out already, in my personal opinion. Mr. Planet Prophet says, smash the thumbs up, guys. Yeah, I'd appreciate it, guys. Let's see how we're looking on the subs. 37 to, or 3272. We need three more subs and we're going to be doing a giveaway. I'm also going to be doing, I'm going to be doing members only giveaway at four o'clock. So in six more minutes, I'll be doing the members only giveaway. If we can get three more subs, I'll be doing the giveaway there as well um, for the sub giveaway. Kryptoni says it takes time to collect. This is a collector's app. You have to at least give it five years of saying crypto. Amen. I could not agree with you more. I, I agree with you 100%. Obviously, I agree with you 100%. Random Bro says, hi, Rob. Woody, Daisy, Lenticular, or Ben Riley, Spider-Man. What has the best potential? Um, I own all three. I own multiples of all three. Um, I'm super bullish on all of them, man. And if you bought any of them right now, you're your price point would be less than mine, uh, which has the best potential. It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know. I think you're good with any of them, especially at these prices. I think Woody drops a little bit more. I don't know how much lower Daisy goes. Ben Riley, I don't know how much lower it goes. Um, it's like my my gut says the Daisy right now would be the best potential, but I think you're good with any of them. You just gonna have to wait till we're out of this funk. All right, guys, we did it. We got up to thirty two seventy five. So we'll be doing a giveaway for subscribe or for um. For that here in just a little bit, I got to get that off the screen quick. Otherwise, people go unsubscribe. <laughs> uh, Victor says, hell yeah, I've been there to the Gold Nugget many times. We can make a meetup. You know, I was the, um, when they built the Golden Nugget, I was the um, superintendent of the electricians. I, that was the last job I did in Louisiana as an electrician was, uh, I had like 280 people working for me at the Golden Nugget Casino in um, in Lake Charles. I was on that thing forever. I think it was crazy. That was one of... I'm a, if as you don't know, I'm a union electrician is what I did for a living before my Amazon stuff. And yeah, that's the last big job I ran before I moved to California, but it was pretty crazy. It's been a lot of hours in that place. MK says, sorry for Ukraine. Yeah. Jeff says, buy the stuff that already has history. Most of the flippers are out. Exactly. That's the way I look at it, too. Uh, you know, when I look at the best deals on the app right now, I think the older golden moments, I think, are the best deals on the app right now. I, I really do. I think if you can if you can get into any of those, I think you're probably doing well. Beat Angel says, be patient. Patience pays well. You are absolutely right. Uh, MK says, does Batman versus Killer Croc really count as a collection? Uh, it does, yeah. I think it's a collection on its own. Oh, man. All right. Sorry, guys. I got about a million things going on right now. But we are going to do, do a couple of giveaways. Um, before I do that, let me run to the restroom real quick. I needed to do that like a long time ago. So I'll be back in a second.
Kryptoni says best advice is right behind Rod Rob Hoddle. Yeah, I um I it, it I just don't understand the mindset of people who get so mad at this app. You know, I just uh, I don't get it. I mean, it's a collector's app. It's not an investment app. It's a collector's app, and it's it's a great investment in my mind, but. As anything else that you collect, it goes up with time. It's not going to just be a skyrocket to the moon. And I don't understand why people don't get that. You know, I mean, I don't really have any good examples, but, you know, there's a reason old Pokemon cards are worth more than new Pokemon cards. This just is. There's a reason old comic books are worth more than new comic books. It's just, just how it is. <laughs> guys you gotta you gotta go look at dino's picture on uh youtube <laughs> whatever he's, he's that face he makes whatever he sees i'm gonna pull it up just so you guys can laugh because it's funny Look at Dino's face looking at the uh, the daredevil. <laughs> oh, it went away. But look at his face in the thumbnail. <laughs> it's just like, he's just making this horrible looking face. Like, what the heck is this crap? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Meet Angel says, I'm usually investing 20% of the money that I get split between different places, but now I'm shrinking to two DC trading cards of Vivi, at least for now. Yeah, that's kind of where my investments are right now. I mean, I still have my um my retirement and all that fun stuff I'm doing, but I, you know, as far as my alternative investments, yeah, it's pretty much all here and in cards, which is tons of cards, always cards. Diego says I'm still in shock that Goofy is about to go under 1K. It was under 1K earlier. They had people buying them for like 950 earlier. Um, if you guys want to win a Goofy, go check out Superstar Money. Superstar Money is doing the Goofy giveaway. Uh, four Goofies all month. They've already given away two. The last one, I think only like 40-something people joined it, so it wasn't a whole lot. Um, Biscayon says, did you get your stack of NYX number three comments update? No, I didn't. I bought the one for the giveaway. That's all I've bought so far. I, I've been on chat, so I haven't. it's hard to snipe when you're on chat. Or on stream. I like it though. It's a cool comic, I think. It's at 843. The um for the common. The uncommon's about to break 10 bucks. Is it 999? Where's the secret rare at? The secret rare is at 256. All right. My two it looks like my two buys for the secret rare ended up being pretty good. Um the rare you can still get for 2350, guys. If you're into those MCP points, that's that's cheap MCP points. The ultra rare is at 57. Only 31 secret rares for sale. That's that's crazy, guys. Usually the usually the day it drop, we usually have in the 50 secret rares for sale. I know um Deadpool had 57 for a long time. Of course, the price was way higher too. So people were trying to flip it, you know, and get them more money for it. But only 31 secret rares for sale on drop day at four o'clock in the evening. That's that's pretty impressive. I mean, I think it's gonna hold some value if that's you know, it looks like a lot of people want to hold it, is my point. That's cool to see. Kryptoni says, I'm gonna have to flip some golden moments. I need that goofy and I don't want to pay for it at all. What golden moments are you gonna flip for it? Don't I might trade you one. I got a Goofy. I, I wouldn't mind trading for some Golden Moments. I mean, depending on what you want to trade. I got six of them. So it's like, I don't need six of them. Starbucks says, do you think if Walt dropped now, not back then, it would go down first since all the people are now uh, crashing floors after the drop? Yeah, probably. Probably. I think they're all going to uh, perform the same. I mean, but you got to realize too, Walt, Walt was a different animal. I wasn't here when Walt dropped, but I just, I've heard people talk about when it dropped and I've watched videos of people talking about how iconic it was going to be. And we just haven't had an iconic drop like that. I would say the most iconic drop we've had in all of this stuff has been the Aston Martin. Um, but it's not, it's still not as iconic as the Walt in my mind. And I don't think in a lot of people's minds, but I think that's probably the only potential grail we've had drop in this market. 
and uh, it's actually held its value really well. It um it got up to that fifty something, which it could be way down now. I haven't looked at it all day, but let's see what it's at. And when I say it, it's held, it's held its value. It has gone up and down, but it hasn't been near as volatile as like or straight down like all the other stuff that was dropped in this time. Yeah, it's still sitting at 4.9 with two at 4.9 and the next one's at 6K. See what I'm saying? So if we look at this chart, this chart's going to look way better or it should. I know you guys can't see this, but I'll be I'll be with you in a second. This is the only thing I personally would consider a grail that's dropped during this uh, this craziness. Would be the Aston Martin uh, secret rare, and yes, yeah, I mean it did it did dive. It went down from seven thousand, and you know it is kind of sitting at its all time low right now. What? Oh, I'm sorry, that, that's that's sellers. It got up to seventy six hundred, and then it dropped. But then it's kind of been building out a wall, a floor here. See how it's kind of built out this wall? Like people don't want it to go below five grand. It looks like we're not seeing that with everything else, and that's kind of what I think Walt would have done in this market. Because if we go back and we look at Walt. Whenever um, we were having all the first gem squeezes, um, twenty nine—that's nah, ridiculously low. When we were having all these other, see, right here, when it was just staying up top, right here, we were having massive gem squeezes on the app. Everything else was dropping. Walt was the only thing on the app going up at this time. Okay, or the only thing keep you know holding its value at this time up here. Everything else spiked right here. Actually, right here. And then just went straight down. And that's all those other charts we look at. Okay. And that's why they came down to here. Walt, what did he do during that drop? He dropped to here and then he went up more. And then he stayed up here and, you know, played way up here while everything else was just gem squeeze, gem squeeze, gem squeeze, gem squeeze. This was his gem squeeze for back croc. Um, I'm sorry. This was his gem squeeze for back croc right here. This was his gem squeeze for lenticular cards. And he was still just flying sky high. So, I mean, he just withstood a lot better. So I really think he would look a lot more like that Aston Martin if, um, because I feel like that's the only grail we've had drop since this major gym squeeze activity has been happening. But I don't know, just the way I think about it doesn't mean I'm right, just how I think about it. So I, I don't know if that answered your question or not, but I think it did, maybe. <laughs> Diego says, what platform is a giveaway on? Oh, yeah, we got to do a members only giveaway. And then we're going to do a, um, I'm actually waiting for something to do the, the room giveaway, but I will be doing it shortly, hopefully. Uh, uh, but we'll, well, let's do the members giveaway real quick. Uh, let me get through this. Let me get through the chat real quick. Uh, today's comic common is already down to 550 editions available. Yes, yeah, dropping quick. I think people really like it. Uh, Kryptoni says Walt already has built. Yeah, I'm not worried about Walt at all. Uh, MC number one common is 240. Yeah. Yeah, it's cheap. It was up to 600 at one point. Uh, Tucson says, I have four secret rares of the one today. Cool. Uh, Kryptoni says, I'm talking about when the market opens, buy and flip. I'm never selling mine. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, DRM says, if I remember correctly, even Walt did the post drop pump and then came down again. Did it? Okay. Starbucks says, well, I mean, it dropped from uh, for 50% from 45K to 22K. Yeah, it did. It did, but everything else dropped 70%. Uh, and started way before it did. And uh, Walt's got super thin floors. Most people don't sell their walls. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where those aren't there, I think. Uh, Diego says, I was asking about the Goofy giveaway from Superstar Money you mentioned. Sorry if I didn't clarify. Uh, Superstar Money, um, this one is on Instagram. Go follow them on Instagram. Uh, I actually still have it up here, up right here if you guys want to go follow them and do whatever they say. I think you got to take a picture of a Fastos and, and put it on their Instagram. It's a uh, Superstar Superstar money underscore is where you'll find them at. And yeah, you you win a Walt. And like I said, they did one on TikTok yes, uh, yesterday or the day before, and only like 40 people signed up for it. So it's a really good shot at a Walt, guys. So you could win a free Walt. All right, guys, let's do some giveaways. We're going to go ahead and do the, um, uh, we're going to do the members only giveaway. So if you are a member, please type something in the chat right now. So I know how many of you guys are in here. Uh, you have to have a green name to participate in this giveaway. It is $3.99 a month if anyone wants to go join. And we'll do a members giveaway. Uh, M says they scooped NYX hardcore. Yeah, they did, man. 
That's what I would have been doing if I wouldn't have been live with you guys. All right, guys, we got Melanie here. I'm going to go ahead and shout you guys out as we go. Sean, Musky Doge. Musky Doge. Musky Doge. I like that name. Uh, Growler, Christian. Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it, guys. If you want your name to be green. Holy cow. The NYX Secret Rare just went up to 350 gems. 350 gems. There's only 20 on the market. Oh, I ought to sell mine. I ought to sell both of them right now, and I ought to get back in later. That is nuts. Somebody was like, nope, this is too cheap. Gee whiz. All right, guys. Sorry. Melanie, Sean, Muskie, Growler, Christian, Edson. What's up, Edson? Um, Yeah, that's uh, that's insane. Wow, I'm glad I picked up those two when I did. Number 2206 is sitting at 370. But man, that's I think it's going to come down. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of you guys here. How are we going to do this? We are going to... Uh, <laughs> let's see. How do we want to do it? Let's just do a... Um, oh, Meet Angel's here as well. Just wait until next week when the announcement more gold moments and we keep buying. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. All right, guys, if you have a green name, we're just going to do the pick a number game. Number between one and 50. First person to get it's going to win. I'm going to write it right here on this piece of paper. Ready, go. Pick a number. It's written on the back of this piece of paper between one and 50. If you have a green name, first person to get it will win a comic. Go, 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 go. All right, we got some guesses. Let's see. Melanie was 17, Christian 11. Keep guessing, guys. Sean, 8, Growler, 7, Melanie, 7, Benjaz, 45, Sean, 9, Christian, 50, uh, Musky Doge, 33, Melanie, 15, Sean, 23, Christian, 1, Growler, 55, Benjaz, 12, Musky, 13, Melanie, 45, Sean, 47, 10, 40, 27, 23, 16, 0, uh, Edson, zero is not between one and 50, my friend. <laughs> 43, 14, 19, 58, 43, 28, 3, 28. Somebody's going to get it. 42, 19, 12, 33, 15, 2, 33, 49. Still don't have a winner. 13, 42, 57, 49. 57 is not between 1 and 50, Melanie. <laughs> 48, 6, 8, 47, 5, 33, uh, 9.9, <laughs> uh, 6, 4, 22, 8, 23, 90. Ben Jazz is just going way out there. 22, 7, 43. Man, I always pick numbers you guys don't like, I guess. 41, 28, 12, 34, 12. 99, 1, 2, 19, 19, 35, 6, 3, 28, 98, 8, 37. <laughs> Gee whiz. Somebody's got to get it eventually. My goodness, you've done guess 300 numbers and we haven't got 1 through 50. 31, 17, 57, 32, 95, 29, 19, 39, 33, 94, 49, 38, 5, 26, Gee whiz, 93. Christian did it again. Christian, I hope you need to you need to go buy that lottery ticket, brother. I've told you that before. Christian won again. It was 36. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, I think I still have your I should still have your stuff here so I can shoot that over to you. Um I tell you, message me again, Christian, because I'm I don't know what happened to it. I really suck at using Twitter. But yeah, go ahead and message me, Christian. You won again. Christian is the man. I can't believe nobody else. Man, there's a lot of people still guessing numbers. And I was way down. But I tell you what, it makes my chat numbers go up really high when we do that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, for the other giveaway. Man, let's see. All 
All right, we're going to talk for a little while longer and see if what I need happens, happens for the other giveaway. We'll see. If not, we'll do it another way. But we are going to be doing another giveaway here in just a little bit. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of 35s and 37s, Melanie and Sean. Yeah, there was a bunch. Kryptoni, you said 36. Did you say it first? I don't know, guys. I just the first one I see. How's that sound? I'm sorry if anybody feels like I'm doing this wrong. I've never given away so much stuff in my life, so I don't know how to do it. Let's see. Did I miss somebody? Yeah, the first 36 I see is Christian on my screen anyway. So I'm, I'm going to stick with that. If I'm wrong, we'll just do it next time. Maybe you win next time. <laughs> just says, stop guessing numbers. Everybody stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, didn't, I still don't see it, Krypton. I went back and looked. Sorry about that. Uh, Melly says, why don't you do closest number to yours wins and everyone gets one guess? Because it's not as much fun as watching everybody type a bunch of numbers in the, in the chat. We'll do it that way next time. I'm just making this up as I go, guys. If you guys haven't noticed, I mean, this is literally my plan sheet. That's all my numbers from the giveaways. That's people who won that I had to send stuff to. I mean, I don't I don't plan any of this out, <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> it's very random. Very, very random. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> Park East Music says, love the channel, Rob. Great positive energy. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Tucson says, don't be sorry. Do it right. I don't, not sure what you're talking about. Not sure what you're talking about. If you have a problem with the way I do the giveaways, you're welcome to go to your own. Uh, do, 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 meet Angel. 9.9 million, huh? Diego says, why are all NYX comics going up now? I don't know. I guess people decided they like it all of a sudden. I'm glad I got mine when I did. Yeah, the Uncommon's at 14 now. The Common's at 10. So you can't get them under $10 at the moment. The rare went up to 26. The ultra rare is at 65. And the secret rare is at 370. So yeah, it's going up, going up pretty good. Christian says, Lotto, here I come. I will never forget y'all. Thanks, Rob, since you QR Twitter. Okay, cool, man. Let me get this sent out to you. <laughs> All right. I already sent you. I'm going to send you a different kind. I'm going to send you a different one than you already had. It's worth the same amount of money and everything. It's just, I know you probably don't want the same comic over again. Transfer, confirm. Oh, one, four, five, three, nine. Oh, one, four, five, three, nine. Confirm. All right, it is sent. Thanks for participating. Thanks for being a member. I really appreciate it. it's better that way it's more fun i think it's fun i like yelling out the numbers diego says uh was able to get a rare on the drop this time so i'm good awesome man congrats yeah i tried this i've still never gotten a um i've still never gotten a comic drop i tried to get another one i tried again today and i uh, still never got one Sean says, how the heck is ASM 1 common under 90 gems? Well, Ghost Rider common is also down. Might be a good time to stack. Those are a tier of comics that seem to be forgotten about. That ASM 1 for under 90, to me, that's a steal. I think that's a, um, <clears throat> I think that's a really good one. I think that's a very good call. And Ghost Rider, too. I love Ghost Rider. What's the Ghost Rider secret rare doing? I almost bought another one of those last night. I have two already. It's at twelve ninety eight. It's holding its own pretty well. It was down to a thousand um, 
this morning or yesterday. So it's came back a little bit on the the secret rare. But what's the what are the other ones doing? Commons at thirty. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, Chundle just sent me his from earlier today, so I can get his sent out to him. So let me get that sent. This is the guy who won the comic earlier. Collection. Let's see. All right, transfer. Confirm. Forty-four thirteen seventy-one. All right, that is sent, man. Thank you so much for participating. Okay, I was looking at um that ASM one. I'm I'm very interested in what the floors look like on that thing because that's that's just dirt cheap, man. That's ridiculous for ninety one. Wow, what's the uncommon going for? The uncommon's still at one fifty. Yeah, that's a that's ridiculously cheap. There's several of them below 100, too. There's like, what, 10 of them listed below 100? <coughs> Excuse me, guys, losing my voice. Secret Rare hasn't dropped any. The Ultra Rare hasn't dropped any. It's just the common. That's so weird. I guess somebody, you know what it is. Somebody had a stack and decided to dump it for tomorrow's drop. That's what happened, I bet. I bet somebody had a stack of them. And that's why the price tanked so quick. But yeah, I agree with you, man. Ghost Rider and Spider-Man 1. I think those are great stacks if anybody's looking to stack. We're still getting moves on the um, NYX, too. It's still moving really well. Uh, only 22 secret rares for sale. The floor's at 359 Man, I ought to sell both of mine right now and stack some gems. Because that's going to... I think it goes back down. What do you guys think? You guys think that NYX goes back down? I'm not much of a flipper, but I think that's a... Good bet that that goes back down. But we'll see. Somebody might just love it and stack it. Uh, Kobe, I didn't even see the comment, Kobe. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Uh, Christian, what's up, Christian? You got it? Thank you, buddy. Don says, Kryptoni did say it, but Christian said it first. I went back and looked. Yeah, I, did, I saw Christian's first. I mean, if Kryptoni, Kryptoni cares, he he knows he can have a comic anytime he wants. I mean, I, I'll give him one. I don't care. It's it's not worth the headache if anybody really cares that much. It's not like he's not in here every day and has a chance to win every day. It's just for fun, guys. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. Oh, was it the guy that was complaining that I he said just do it right or whatever, and I told him to go do his own giveaway? Is that the one who was running his mouth? <laughs> like, I care. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Growler says, one of these days I'll win. You'll get it, man. You'll get it. Yeah, I mean, if anybody ever is, like, disappointed thinking they got uh, screwed over in a giveaway, I'll give you a comic. I couldn't care. I was at a poker table giving them away to strangers I didn't even know the other day, so I couldn't care less. It's just, it's just fun to me. Uh, Partis says, it could be the market bug that happened this morning. Additions going down are listed failures and uh, people FOMOing. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Tony says, all good. Um, heavy than busted. I probably would have just gave it back for another giveaway. I just like the fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's 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 the way I would look at it, too. It's just for fun, guys. That's all it is. Don says, Parky's Music, thanks for buying my comic. Now I have gems to try tomorrow's drop. Awesome, guy. That's awesome. Bought an NYX Rare for 18 gems. Wow, that's cheap. Brenton says, Rob, check the NYX comics now. You'll be happy with the secret rare purchase as of now. Yeah, yeah, man. It's nuts. 370. I'm not much of a flipper, guys, but part of me just wants to flip out of these right now because I just think they go down. But I know me, the time I do it is going to be the time they go up. 
Jack Long says, hey, Rob, I picked up a Walt today. What? Now I'm happy and broke. Heck yeah, my friend. Welcome to the club. What'd you get it for? 20000 That's awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Mosquito says, yeah, this is real cheap for ASM. I sold one of mine a couple weeks ago for over 200 Yeah, it is cheap. Under 90 for ASM 1 is just, you're not going to get opportunities like that very often, I don't think. I mean, that's just, that's an absolute grail comic. Diego says, I heard that NYX was a decent comic in the real world. Yeah, I heard that too. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I heard it goes for about two grand. Well, that's what B. Scallon says. Yeah, I think ours is 9.8. It goes for 2K. But I also think she's going to have a big part in the, I think she's going to be the new Wolverine. And I think that could help it a lot too. Let's see here. Where is going on? All right, guys, we're going to do one more giveaway here in just a little bit. Um, Don says flip one and hodl one. Yeah, I could do that, huh? I could flip one and hodl one. I got a fairly low mint. I got number 2,000. 2,000 something. I think I'll just hold that one and I might try to flip the other one. Just, I don't know why. I mean, I, like, I always try to think of why I'm flipping something and it would be strictly for gems. And I've never just flipped for gems. I've always flipped with another goal of having some, you know, of wanting something else to get something else. Let's see. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got number twenty four ninety three. I'm not going to sell that one. I'll probably hold that one. Yeah, the other one I paid one ninety nine for. If I sold it for three seventy, that's probably a good flip, right? I think that's probably a good flip. Let's see if I can actually flip it and make some money. Somebody just listed one at 369. If it sells for that, I'll get 330. That'll yeah, that's 130 gems. I'm gonna go ahead and list it, see if it sells. If it sells, I'll um, I'll just wait for it to drop and I'll buy back in. Either way, I still have the lower men available, so we'll see if it sells. And guys, if you guys want to go follow me in the app, you can. It's um, you can go find uh, Ultra Rare uh, Ben Riley Spider Man at number five eleven, and follow me there. While you're there, you can follow the Gale because he's right next to me, or you can go follow um, the Fastos Wall, which everybody knows about. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I just listed it. I hadn't sold yet, but I did just list one. We'll see what happens. The price will either shoot up or tank one or the other. Now that I've listed, I know how that works. I've done. Play, I've played this game before. the heck how is that even possible this thing's showing that the floor price is 369 or 380 and mine's listed for 369 how's that even a thing okay yeah i am at the bottom Let's see if i can sell this It's not the way I like to play this game, really. But I do think I'll have a chance to get one lower. I'll probably, I mean, I'll probably buy back in. Like it, if it gets down below three hundred, I'll probably buy another one. Just grab a few gems, just to kind of just experiment, because that just seems way too big of a jump to me. That it's just feel like it's going to go back up. 
Alex says, sold my Woody about a week ago for 270 and bought a mini lenticular card for 200 thoughts. I think that was a great move. Uh, what's mini at now? Did she drop anymore? I know she was at like 170 earlier, but I just don't know how much lower she goes. I mean, my goodness, what's she going to go back to retail? I like the mini lenticular cards. I've got six of them. She's at 189. I mean, I, I bought my last one at 192. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I think it's a good move. I think you're going to have... I, I don't know, but I think it was a good move. I think it was a good move. I think that you're probably going to be really happy with that long term. Apparently, the other 369 either sold or relisted. Is mine still sitting there at the floor? <laughs> Maverick says, just talk with Dino on Twitter Spaces for like five minutes. Super fun to actually get to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, he invited me, but I was still live uh, here, so I didn't go. But yeah, he did invite me to the Twitter Spaces. I wish I could have hung out. The floor is tight. Could go up more. Yeah, it could. There's no doubt about that. Kenya said, morning from Aussie, uh, woke to see all these new GMs. Slow your roll, BB, apart uh, from you are, I'm going to say they all be 300 to 400 on the market. Yeah, I think they will. If they're not, they will be eventually at 300 to 400. I really do believe that. Uh, somebody just listed one at 355. It's like we're going the wrong way. I'm not going to sell it for less than 369. Mendez says, "Glad I picked up the SR up for 220 earlier. Yeah, I got some good. I got some good entry points on both of mine, so I'm pretty happy with it. Just gonna hodl the moon. There you go. That's usually my game plan because it's too stressful when I'm trying to flip in and out of stuff. I might just deal with this actually." Jack Long says, "Yes, 20K helped me helped you make the decision. Oh man, well congratulations, bro. Um, yeah, I think you got a great entry point. I, I really do think you got a great entry point." Shanks to the third says, any reason the drop's not showing on BB yet? Um, it it actually is, but you have to go to um you have to go to golden moments and go to uh duos, and then you can see the the drop screen, but it isn't showing up on the um the store screen yet. So go go check that out, Shankster. Parta says, can we look at the listing drop in a coma wiki for NYX comics? Something is fishy. Um, BB seems to have introduced a bug with some new market update. Even market was down for four hours yesterday. Look at the listing drop in a coma wiki. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, Parta. Um, I'm not, you, you want to look at the common, you want to look at the uncommon, what do you want to look at? And, um, I mean, I think the markets, I mean, we have, there's 700 of them for sale. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're asking me to do. I'm sorry. George says, uh, but maybe some will take profits now and the price could go down also. Yeah, it kind of looks like that's what's happening. There's, there's one listed at 355. Diego says, I remember joining this app saying I'll jump ship once I can sell everything and buy a Rolex. <laughs> one of that I have a vault and most of my gems, I don't want to sell them anymore. Yeah, I would take this stuff over a Rolex. I've had Rolexes before. Oh, the 355 sold. I'm next on the chopping block if it happens. Sean says the new comic listings are glitched out. It seems I wouldn't touch that. Yeah. Well, that's kind of why I'm trying to sell right here and then I'm going to buy back in. It's not worth 350. Yeah, I agree. That's why I'm trying to sell 369 and then buy back in later. Tom is at 11 gems. You see are at, at 14. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Dean says the NYX are definitely selling. It's a big modern comic. Yeah, no, there's, there, I mean, there's, I see they're moving. I know they're moving. I'm on the floor at 369.
I'm just going to take one last little look at the market. Then I'm going to do one more giveaway and then I'm going to get out of here. Three hours and 30 minutes is, is enough by myself. We did a Dino in earlier. Um, once again, guys, I will not have a live stream tomorrow at one. I am going to be doing a meetup with Dino. I will be going live at the meetup, you know, just introducing everybody, talking to everybody, all that fun stuff. Um, once again, really hope everyone can show up that's, you know, possibly can. I am going to be driving about an hour and a half to get there. So this is, you know, I'm putting in some effort, guys. So if you guys wouldn't mind putting in a little, I would appreciate it to meet you guys. Um, yeah, just we're going to talk BB. We're going to, you know, eat food. We're just going to have a good time. And I just meet everybody and it's going to be fun to talk, you know, real world with people. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be in Concord, California. So if any of you guys are in the Calif in California and anywhere in the Bay Area, uh, it's not too far of a drive from most places in the Bay Area. Um, at the veranda, we're going to be there at noon. So I will be doing the drop tomorrow at home. And then I'm going to hop in the car and head that way. I, I kind of hate not doing market analysis, you know, especially on a big drop day like this, but we already had this planned out, you know, a month ago and, uh, you know, I've been wanting to meet Dino and, you know, a bunch of other you guys in the chat. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. And, um, I am going to be, uh, I'm going to start doing more lives at night. I think just doing random stuff. They're not going to be so market oriented. That one last night was a lot of fun. I think a lot of people enjoyed it. So uh, I may even do one again tonight. I don't know. But for sure, tomorrow night when I get back, I'm going to be doing a live like that. But it's going to be kind of an everything live. We'll be talking BB. We'll be talking Pokemon cars, Amazon, whatever you guys want to talk about tomorrow night. We'll do that. And then, of course, I'll be back to my normal schedule on um, on Monday. Um, I mean, on Sunday, sorry. And we'll be back to one o'clock on Monday, which, you know, we'll, of course, be talking about the the not very attractive electro job then. Um, Chris says, I think they were referring to the mass delisting that happened after 30 days. Uh, who, who are you talking about, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we did have the massive delisting after 30 days. It's the first time ever too. So that's another reason that, the, um, that everything's just kind of changing, you know? Uh, Hugh says, Rob, I'm back. Did I miss a drop? <laughs> no, no, but almost, man. It's almost like they're doing them every five minutes now. It feels like. Barry Diddy Noopsy says, hello. I was thinking of buying something now to flip after the gems drop. Um, do you think the prices will somewhat recover? I don't have any idea, buddy. I have no clue. I, it's going to be really interesting to see how people play this because I think this is going to be a different kind of drop that people are going to play it differently. Um, but we'll have to see. I don't know. Daniel says, comics are the most fun, in my opinion. Comics are fun. I really enjoy comics. I like stacking comics. I didn't think it would be, like, my thing, but I do like it. It's just fun. So, anyway. Beat Angel says, before the previous GM drop, we were wondering what else VV can do to keep um, sinking the prices at this point. I'm expecting more golden moments before MTL. I have to rethink my strategy. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, they're, they're selling out instantly, guys. It's a cash cow for them, so they don't have any reason not to keep doing them. You know, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. And, I mean, they have 50 uh, Golden Moment statues, so I don't know why they wouldn't have 50 Golden Moment, you know, at least 50 Golden Moments. And that's the way I've always been playing this, but I still think the cream's going to rise to the top. You know, I, the, you know, the reason they keep doing them is because they're so valuable. Well, why, do, why, do, why does Pokemon keep printing Charizard cards? Because they sell. They sell like crazy. Well, what's the most valuable Charizards? The ones that were printed first. And it's going to be the same thing. You know, it's the same exact philosophy, you know. So, you know, everybody's like, well, you know, it's going to drop the prices of the, of the first ones that came. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to, you know, continually. I think they're all going to move up together just like Charizards do. You know, I think it's the same thing. It's the same reason for doing it. Meat Angel says, hey, can send you uh, my private jet where's the nearest private airport yeah okay <laughs> you say that in 10 years there you go man there you go we'll be sharing a private jet in 10 years i like that idea i like that thinking <laughs> 69 likes thanks yeah guys like and sub i'd really appreciate it i am gonna do another giveaway here in just a minute i know you guys are waiting i'm gonna do another giveaway in just a minute i know i feel like i'm delaying i am kind of delaying uh, Jogo says, hey, Rob, I was raised in the Bay Area. Uh, did you live in Montoya? No, I've never even been to Montoya, to be honest. Uh, remind me of a friend of mine from childhood. No, I, uh, I moved here um, about five years ago or six years ago from Louisiana. 
Ray VV Hart says, love the improv show last night. Rob came for the VV, learned the Pokemon. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I had fun last night. Uh, Growler says, check your Twitter. I put up my comic matches. Okay, yeah, I will. Diego says, they actually have more than 50 Golden Moments statues. Some of the ones that have releases are not official Golden Moments from the Disney parks. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. Thank you for that. So they can essentially release way more than 50. Yeah, no, I, and I expect them to. It, it kind of looks to me like they're going to release all of their um, all of their main IPs, like the top of every main IP, I think is going to be gold moments from Disney. You know, the first one, all the FAs. And that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool, you know, that they're putting it all in like a series of all the FAs together. Now, when I'll start worrying about it is like if they ever start doing like non-FA golden moments. I think that would that would kind of be a little too much. But um, but yeah, we'll see. I still think it's cool. Um, all right, guys, here's how we're gonna do our last giveaway. Uh, we have 68 people in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do once again, uh, I'm gonna write down a number. Because it's what I do. I write down numbers. And um, we are going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. What I was trying to do just got uh, just got wrecked. One second, guys. We're going to do a raid here in just a minute. He must be having technical difficulties. We're going to go raid Kobe as soon as he's up. He had a, um, had a screen going and I think he tried to go live and it, uh, messed it up. I've done that before. <laughs> I feel you, Kobe, up in there. Let's see. Give him a few more minutes, see if he can get up, and we'll do a raid, and um, I'll do the giveaway on the raid. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, well. well. We'll do it in a second. Alex says, I need a main Star Wars drop. No amount of money I wouldn't pay for a Star Wars set. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Star Wars as well. I think a lot of people are. It's going to be a big one. It is definitely going to be a big one. Diego says, Woody is going to be a non-FA golden moment if they release him as a golden moment. I don't know. I could see, um, yeah, they might release Buzz as a golden moment. I don't know. I mean, I just... I like, I like, I hope they keep them all FAs. I just think it makes it more special that way, but I don't know. There's no telling. I stopped trying to actually predict what they're going to do. I just guess. <laughs> That's all you can do. Diego says, calling it now. Okay, well, maybe. Musky Doge says, thinking about selling 3775 number 97 Madura Batman for SR Comics Thoughts. I would have done it a long time ago. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea in my opinion. Um, the thing about that Joe Mad Batman is uh, people just sell the heck out of it, man. It's it's just, it's I don't know. I got rid of mine a long time ago, and I'm glad I did because it's done nothing but go down since then. But everything in the app's done nothing but go down since then, so I don't know. Um, Okay, guys, we look at we we have some sellers starting to come back into the NYX. Um, there's like five of them in the three fifties right now. I'm probably just gonna delist mine. It didn't sell. You can get in the common for ten now. Oh, I should have bought that one. Fifty nine's nineteen. Too late. Yeah. Four digit on the floor. The uncommon's at 13. There's a four digit on the floor there as well, but it's 13 gems. Yeah, it's been interesting watching this for sure. Adrian, what's up, Adrian? Adrian, greetings from Paris. Greetings from California, my friend. Come on, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. You can do it. Poor Kobe. He had people in the waiting room, too.
The only other person live right now is Randy. We raided Randy yesterday, so I don't want to do Randy again. Let's see. Give him a few more minutes. If he doesn't come, we'll just do a giveaway a different way. You guys got any HR cards yet? We can look at that real quick for anybody who doesn't know doesn't know what it is or doesn't. Um, I'll tell you what. For anybody who's just getting here, let's go ahead and look at the drop for tomorrow. I don't know if you guys have all seen that yet or not. I guess I guess I'm just I'm just waiting on Kobe. But um, yeah, we have the duos drop tomorrow for golden moments that everybody knows about. There's a lot of these guys. If you're new here, you got a really good shot at this, especially if you go over the um, you know, the technique I showed you guys earlier. You got a really good shot at getting these because there's a lot of them. Timon and Pumba, there's um 13,000 of them. That's a lot. Uh Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, there's 13,000 of these as well. That's 26,000 right there. Um, Cogsworth and Lemire, 26 plus 10 is 36. Uh, 37, if you count everything, 37,000. Sebastian and Flounder puts us up to 45,000. And then Chippendale, there's 6,000 of them. So that's 51. So it's like 52,000 of these guys. So there's no, re you know, if, if you set yourself up correctly, if you if you get everything set up correctly, there's a very good chance you can um, you can hit this drop. So definitely learn how to do it. Uh, I did show how to do it earlier in this video. If you want to go back and watch it. Uh, somebody just said Kobe's live. Let me see if he's live. Mm, I'm still not seeing him. He did have it up and then it, it went down. Give him a few more minutes. Matthew says, we need gold moments, Jar Jar Binks. Heck yeah, I would love that. You know what the best part of that would be? The best part of getting a Jar Jar uh, golden moments would be watching Dino Liang's reaction to Jar Jar golden moments. That would be so worth it. That would be, if you want to see a grown man have an aneurysm on YouTube, <laughs> I wouldn't want him to have an actual aneurysm, and it might give him one, so I don't know if I really want that, but he would be mad. It would be so awesome to watch. The video would be titled something like, Why I'm Quitting VV, and uh, he would just go nuts. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> Mosquito says, thanks. Yeah, I got mine in the drop for $44.99. Hard to let go, season one FE. Yeah, I hear you, man. It is it's hard to let go of it sometimes, for sure. Maverick says, Rob, I don't know if you saw this earlier and I missed your response, but Steamboat, you are our entire uh, Pixar and duo golden moments. I've never considered selling my Steamboat Willie, but thought of getting five golden moments in the last two Pixars. Um, man, I am just, I think, I think Steamboat Willie is going to be big. I know it's down a lot. I know it's driving people nuts. I know the new things are shiny and everybody wants the new things, but man, Steamboat Willie is just so iconic. I, I get why you would want to sell it. I understand that, you know, you're going to be paying that 8% fee. Um, I do like the idea of you having more stuff to be liquid with later. If you need to sell something, I, I don't know, man. I, I personally wouldn't do it just because I just have a lot of faith in Steamboat, but I can understand why people wouldn't. Uh, you know, and then you can get a lot for it right now. There's no doubt. I mean, you, it's not selling for a lot, but you can buy a lot of other stuff. I just think out of all that stuff, I think Steamboat's got the better chance of actually being a grail in the future. Uh, none of that other stuff you listed in my mind is going to have a chance of being a grail. So I guess it just depends on what you want to collect and how you want to play the game. Um, but yeah, I'm more of the like try to keep the grail collector. That's kind of my how I play the game. And um, 
So yeah, I'd probably keep the steamboat, but uh, I can see why you don't want, you know, why you're thinking that. But I also think you're going to be selling at the very bottom because I don't think steamboat's going to go a whole lot lower. I just don't. I mean, it may. I mean, I could wake up tomorrow and it could be a thousand. I know that, but um, it just seems like it's such an iconic piece, and I don't. I just don't know. Uh, I personally wouldn't do it, but I can understand why you would. And I think everything you mentioned there is really good stuff to get if you do. J. Mary says, I have two ASM 1, uh, 130s caught auction at 601 and 625, price at 900. I'm thinking about flipping, but I'm like you, and there is no precedent for this drop. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's no precedent for how people are going to act after the drop. I think we know if it, if it goes like, if it goes like all the other drops do, I'm pretty confident what's going to happen and where the prices are going to be, but it may not, too. You know, we just don't know. Yeah, the NYX uh, has dropped back down again to 349. I don't think I want to sell that low. I don't know. I just, I, I'm bullish on that comic. I think it's going to be big just because of the character. But I think it's big, too, because it says mature content. And we don't have anything else on the app that says anything like that. And I just, I don't know. It's the little stupid things sometimes that make things valuable. And I think that could that could be one of those little stupid things that makes things valuable, you know? What's Ghost Rider doing? Secret Rare is looking good. What's the common doing? It was down to 30 earlier. Still at 31 for the Ghost Rider common. I think that's a great buy. Uncommon's at 31 also, 31.98. I'd probably get the uncommon over the common just because there's less of them. Sorry, guys. I got people messaging me. Uh, <laughs> Jay Mary says, "Yeah, put about a grand toward HRO." I hear you, man. I think I'm I'm super excited about it. Uh, Alex says, "Can I get a timestamp on this strategy for this drop?" Uh, what do you What are you asking a timestamp, Alex? It's gonna be uh, It's gonna be tomorrow at eight a.m. If that's what you're asking. Muskie Doge, does anyone know what crypto HRO will be using for collectible and for collectibles for blockchain? I don't have any idea. Uh, I know it's, uh, I want to say it's on IMX, if I'm not mistaken. Ward says, I love Steamboat UR, but man, you can buy a lot of GMs right now for that amount of gems. That's true. That's a very good point. Very valid point. And the GMs are FA. The, the way I look at that, and it's just, to me, if you have something that you think is going to be a grail, you hold it. I just, I just, to me, because I really do think, guys, one day we're going to wake up and these things, these prices are never going to get back to where they are again. And I know me, that's the day I'll sell. I'll sell the day before, the next day we'll wake up and Steamboat Willie will be 10 grand again. You know, it's just, I, I don't know. And it's not going to take, it doesn't take a whole lot of money. To, to do it it just doesn't it doesn't take a whole lot of money to move those floors you know i know to us to us it's a lot of money but to somebody who just sold let's say you just sold a 10 million dollar freaking board ape you go throw 10 million dollars in this app just as a because i just got it from a board ape you know you could easily move these floors you know from two thousand to five six seven eight ten thousand and like that it wouldn't take anything to do it Clint says, I was about to buy gems off app and made a rookie mistake. I forgot to confirm the payment and the seller didn't take cash app. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of sellers just want crypto. That's, I don't, I don't do anything with crypto. Sean says, I wouldn't do it. You are steamboat is super iconic. And when the world wakes up to NFTs and maybe gets more and more popular, the very first thing uh, most people want to buy is that whole yeah, I mean, but I can see I can see both thought processes, but I just I'm kind of more into the um 
I'm just in the hold the stuff that you know is going to be good because you also have to keep in mind, guys. You know what your what your and this kind of goes to what else Sean says. Don't get suckered in the loop of falling into the new thing. You know, look at all the people last week who were just absolutely, you know, oh, um, Woody's going to be the biggest thing on the app. Woody's going to be a thousand. Woody's going to go to ten thousand. You know, we heard all that last week. What are those people doing now? Selling their Woodies for one hundred and seventy. <laughs> you know, just. You know, we it's real easy to tell what the best stuff is on this app. It's super easy to tell. Go find the biggest IPs. Go find the most popular characters. Go find the stuff that the businesses are pushing the most. That's the stuff that's going to be the most valuable, guys. The stuff that has history, in my opinion. I may be wrong. And yeah, there could be something that, you know, that the community decides is better and the community just, you know, goes in all ham on and, you know, they pick a certain lab it that's worth $10 million and it could happen. You know, but I'm just talking about, you know, I think we all know what's going to be the most valuable. We just got to we just got to be smart, guys. We just got to that's the stuff we need to put our money into. Stop trying to FOMO into the next big thing and realize, you know, set goals to get that good stuff. And I think that's the best technique for long term. But I mean, if you're if you're collecting or you want to just have the stuff that's different. But uh, that's my my the way I play anyway. Ryan says, uh, what genre are you stacking up on, Rob? Uh, Disney and it's Secret Rare Comics. That's my thing. It's Disney and Secret Rare Comics. Maverick said, heard enough. Thanks, Rob. I pulled that you are on an eight-minute rebound, and that moment alone makes me not want to let go of it. P. Yeah, brother. My um, I bought I got mine on the uh, on the drop. That's the first ever big drop I got. So that's why that's another reason I won't ever sell mine. I mean, I got it on the drop. It's the biggest drop I ever participated in. I pulled the UR. I went nuts. I I just because I knew what it was going to be worth, and it was such an amazing time. Um, my whole family's looking at me like, what are you doing? Why, why are you going crazy? You know, but I just knew how valuable it's going to be. And that's what got me into BB. That's what made that the reason I'm sitting here right now is because I got that drop. So I love it. You know, the reason I'm sitting on a $170,000 collection is because I got in that drop. Riley says comics, collectibles, Disney or Marvel or a bit of everything. Uh, yeah, just uh, Disney, Disney collectibles and uh, Marvel comics. Alex says, you mentioned that you said if you set up properly, you have a good chance to get the drop and you demonstrated it earlier. I was just wondering uh, what time in the video you demonstrated. I'll do it again right now if you want to see. Um, yeah, because I want everybody to see how, how I do it. This works for me. All right, guys, if you go to your app right now and you want to practice, go to your app. And right here, uh, I'm in the golden moments section. See where it says duos? We're going to click on that. All right. See, so you have your timer right here. You want to clear out your phone first of all before you do. Before you even come in here, you want to clear out your phone. You want to restart your phone. You want to be sitting as close to your wireless router as possible, and then you want to, at two seconds left, or you know, like a second left, start tapping your phone right here. That mark right there between that little black line between the uh, the two drop down windows. You want to tap right here. But you don't want to tap too high because if you tap too high, you're going to drop down that screen and it's going to screw you up. Okay, so you want to make sure you're tapping right in the perfect spot. Don't start tapping too soon because if you do, you have a better chance of pulling that down and screwing yourself up because I've done that before. So usually like with one or two seconds left, I just start tapping right there. And I get somebody in my family gets every drop. You know, we get you know, we, we usually get probably. Probably 70 to 80 percent of drops in my in my family, you know, all the phones that we do that on. So that's the way I would do it. All right, guys, we are going to do the last giveaway. Um, we're going to do a raid. We're going to do Kobe's raid. Uh, he does have his channel up right now. It just says Steam starting uh, stream starting soon. So if you guys uh, want to go over there, just type uh, Rob Stuff Raid and put a number next to it. I'm going to write a number down. It's going to be a number between 1 and 50. So you guys are going to have to keep doing it until I get it. I'm basically going to do the same thing I did on this stream. And uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna go from there. So go in Kobe's stream, type Rob Stuff, put a number, and um, and yeah. We'll, uh, and, and guys, stay. He's going to be on a little bit doing some stuff. So I really want to get him some viewers. So if you guys want to win, go in there, type a number, type Rob Stuff Raid, do a number. All right, we got 17, 22, 13, 
Keep going, keep going, guys. Four, 28, five. Keep going. Y'all can go more than once. Because <laughs> not enough internet to everybody do it. 28, 14, 34, 25, 34, 34, 26, 17, 34. Keep going, guys. Still not there. 49, 41, 42 is the correct answer. George Viokufit is the winner, I believe. Number 42. George, hit me up on... um. on Twitter, and I will get that sent out to you. Let me know if you're here, George. Hit me up on Twitter, and I'll get that sent out to you. And, guys, uh, the main point of that is let's get Kobe some viewers, guys. Kobe does a lot for this community, and uh, he needs he needs more people watching his stuff because he's a great dude. So, George, hit me up, and I will get that sent out to you. Oh, that was quick, George. <laughs> Boy, George threw that up there quick. All right, buddy, let me get this sent to you, and then I'm going to get out of here. It's been a long day, and I got a lot of stuff to do. All right. All right, George. Seven four four two nine six. All right, George, it is sent, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Superstar Money said, just witnessed witness the massive raid on Kobe Collects. Yeah, if you guys were live, I'd have raided you guys. I'm, I'm looking for somebody to raid pretty much every day to do a giveaway. So, yeah, you guys got to go do those live streams, guys. I can send people to you. That's the whole point, to support everybody. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. This is enough. Four hours is enough for me. Uh, best of luck to everyone tomorrow. Once again, I will not be having the live stream tomorrow. I will be live at some point, you know, just hanging out with Dino at the get-together. I will have a live tomorrow night or tomorrow evening at some point when I get back home. I'm not sure what time that'll be. So please stop by then. Best of luck to everybody tomorrow. Um, you know, don't FOMO into this after uh, aftermarket tomorrow. I think that would be a huge mistake. Not financial advice, but I think there's going to be a lot of FOMO. I personally plan to sell whatever I get instantly and just buy back in later, um, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. If not, I will be back at my normal time on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go check out Kobe's stream. He's going to be doing a give or a, a raffle stream really soon. Uh, so go check that out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.